Hello, hello, everybody. It's Friday. Friday, Friday. Gotta get down. It's Friday. Friday, baby. <coughs> yeah, Friday. baby. Today is January 19. We are here and we are wearing a hello, Ela. You look great. You're looking very preg. <laughs> you feeling preg? I feel so pregnant. Yeah, that's crazy. It's coming around. It's like disgusting pregnant. Baby. You're there? Mm -hmm. It'll get worse. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like right before you give birth, it gets real nuts. I had no back pain until now, and then boom, like in the last week, it's all back. Are you saying that she's being a baby? <laughs> no, it's waiting for the baby to come. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you. I know you. I know. Uh, but uh, we still don't have a name for the little guy. Mm -mm. Oliver. No. That's not it. I thought we decided on Zach. Zach mm -hmm. Jr. Yeah. Zach oh. Bernstein Jr. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you guys think about this name? Ela's not onto it, but I like it and Teddy likes it. Buster. Yo, mm -hmm. Buster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I think it was San Andreas. It's a real name. Of course it is. Yeah, yeah, Buster yeah. Keaton, dude. Yeah, Buster. Legend. Sick. Hollywood Dave legend. Busters. What was that? I love Dave and Busters. Then. Dave and Busters, right. right. So Dave we, and Busters. Do we want to be named after Dave and Busters? It's not named that. He did, dude, Buster's a fucking strong, cool, weird name. Will he get made fun of for being named Buster? It's hardly the weirdest name nowadays. I mean, listen, if you try, you can fuck with any name. Mm hmm. I think Buster's dope. That one's easy though. I'm into Buster. You do? Well, what do you say? Bust? Oh, oh, you oh Buster, bust? no. All he does is Buster. Olivia doesn't like it. <laughs> That's yeah. okay. It's not. It's not my baby. It's a. Well, I mean, I mean, you could you could really say it about anything though, like um, Olivia Buster Rhymes. Another true. great. That's another a great giant. Buster. Olivia. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we'll name him Olivia. Hmm. I would love I to have, be named Olivia. I have a, a name that I've been liking. Go ahead. I thought Ethan liked it until he came up with Buster. Go ahead. Barry, Aww. and it's B E R R Y. I like that. Here's the thing. I like the name of him being named after like a little berry because mm -hmm. I love berries. We all love berries. Berries in are our great. House. However, it just makes me think of like old dudes. Like I don't think people are gonna be berry. like, oh, he's a berry. That's a little cute little berry. They're gonna think of like an old. That's what people said about Harry Jewish man. <laughs> That's what people said about Bruce. The mm. name. Well, Bruce. Okay, but I was Bruce advocate. Mm. That's the difference. Mm-hmm. Which means I'm 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 trying to flatter myself, yeah. But I don't know. Barry. Congratulations. Uh anyway, thank you to Shopify and Gamer Subs today for uh yeah. thank sponsoring you. us. We love them. Thank you. We really do love them. We thank you guys. <clears throat> um we're wearing our uniforms, you may have noticed. This is <laughs> thank you to all you at home who voted this. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah thank you very much, brother. Thanks a lot. This is thanks the H3 lot. Podcast 2024 <laughs> new uniform, everybody. Head to toe. Go ahead. Who wants to show it off? I'll show it first. You can really Ooh. see my bump with this. Go ahead. Ela's going to model today our new uh, uniform. We've got the H3 Podcast wife beater, or we don't call it that anymore, right? Uh, no, that right. is tank not top. the tank proper top. name, sir. <laughs> Why An do you wear a wife? Bro, I don't know when it changed, but like, I feel like everybody called it wife beater. Of course. I think some people still sometimes do. I remember learning that it was called a wife beater when I was like 10 years old. And even as a 10 year old being like, that's yeah. really weird that it's called that. <laughs> now, now we call them wife pleasers. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, we love that. I have an update for you, Ethan. The chat is like very strongly into Barry and not into Buster. We can do a poll you if you want. You should do a poll to see the results. I like Barry. It's a strong. But I don't like, because I don't think, like, again, I don't think people are going to think of a cute little Barry. They're going to think of, like, an old Jewish hair, an I old Jewish man with hair, with, like, tons of ear hair. I, I think you're thinking of Larry. <laughs> like, Larry is no, an Barry. old Jewish guy. Mm. I have him. Larry, a, Gary. Larry. Barry. All of them. Barry's a very common Arab last name. That's what I Barry? Guess. Yeah. Really? Barry? Yeah, my cousin Tim, he's a Barry. Huh? Um, How's it spelled? Berry. B e r r y. Whoa. Oh, yeah. That, I didn't know that. That meat market that I went to on the show, that was Ronnie oh. Berry's. Never met a berry. Mm. It would be cute to have Teddy and Barry. Oh. Right. And Bruce. Teddy so and Barry. Oh, wait. 
wait, is it because it has bear in the name? Well, you could no. name. Oh, you think Ethan doesn't like it because? Of no, no. Well, I'm just realized I didn't make the connection that we have Teddy and Bear, <laughs> Bear, Teddy it's Bear. It, but it's not, it's not spelled like Bear. It's like yeah. Bear. But his cool. nickname no. would be Bear. You know that. No. Flying yeah. pretty close to the, to the to novelty the... name. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, you got Teddy and like, Bear. Oh, what are you guys, the Teddy that. Bear people? Right. Mm-hmm. Everything's got to be Bear with, with you. No, I think if it's spelled B A R R Y, it wouldn't. You wouldn't think of it as a bear. Oh, but but then don't you want to spell it like it's a berry? We so will never a have bear. a name for this baby. Buster. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Buster is... We will call him Untitled. <clears throat> untitled, Unmastered. To bust. This kid... I don't kid, like Buster. But, he's gonna, but you have to understand, if his name is Buster, <laughs> he's going to be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. that's just... You live up to the yeah, name. Yeah. And he's, the he's a Buster. Buster is weird to me. So Bust- what's the poll saying? Let me check. Buster is like slang for like a bitch. Like you're a buster. You're a buster. You got yeah. Teddy. Well, I've never heard anyone say that, but but uh, Crip Mac. Oh, he says Custer because he's a yeah. He's oh, he says Custer. Uh, TLC. Very. A like. scrub is also known as yeah. a buster. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you. Dan. No, for real. No, no, <laughs> scrubs. Scrub is a guy who can't get no love. Right. Me. He's fly. What's that have to do with Buster? She says, also she known says as a, buster. a scrub, also known as a buster. That's like oh, the first real? line of that song. Oddly oh, enough, me and Dan were having this conversation. The <laughs> we other were day. just talking about yeah. that song a few days ago. Yeah. I have grown up with Mega Man. Well, true. Yeah. Well, thank you, Dan. I said no. <laughs> I've thought about going back to Scotty, though, to be honest. Bernard, somebody said. Chrissy <laughs> says Bernard. No. Bernie. No. Bernie. I, it's all the comments on last episode. You guys mentioned Michael. If his no. middle name was Scotty, it'd be Michael Scotty Klein. Michael Scott. Michael Scott mm-hmm. Klein. We did Mike. not mention Michael, though. No, that's a that's an Oliver Tree thing, isn't Mike. it? Mike. Oh, I see. I never said Michael. Hell no. Hell no. <laughs> no offense to the Larrys out there. I'd be even surprised if there is a single Larry in the audience, but that's got to be one of the worst names to give a boy right now. <laughs> it's just not. It's just not it. Larry. Larry. It's my dad's name. Right, and well, Larry David. Larry David. Back then, it was dope. Right. But now? A lot of old Jews named Larry. And the same thing, my dad's name is Gary. Can you imagine naming a child Gary right now? (laughs) I mean, that's madness. Well, what? Gary short for something? Garrett? No. No? It's Gary. G-A-R-Y. That's the whole thing. We have no name. I'm starting to freak out. (laughs) We don't like any name. You guys don't understand. What about Scotty? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm. Casper? <laughs> Somebody, I saw that suggestion too. Casper. Was he a ghost? He's a friendly ghost. Jesus. I don't want him to be a ghost anytime soon. Right. So let's not do Casper. What's your name? Dexter. Mm, yes. <laughs> that name's that ruined. Name's kind of ruined yeah. for a couple generations, isn't it? <laughs> Lots Arthur. of uh, Max, great Max suggestions coming in. Toby. Oh. Atticus. Name your kid Mega Man. Somebody suggested Mega Man. Mega Man Sword Love. Yeah. I have grown up with Mega Man. Yep. Well, anyway, we'll continue to think about our options. The name will come. And if all else fails, when you're like taking a nap, I'll tell the doctor Buster to write down on the <laughs> birth certificate. Yeah, right. Big Buster, I'll call him. Big bus climb. Big, Big bus stuff. What's up, bus? Big bus. Up on the bus. Big bus. Hardy bus is here. Yeah, I'm telling you. Oh, when he no, shows up at fault. the party. Bus, my bus boy. Is bus me, me up. <laughs> That's like my nightmare. Whatever, dude. I'm a bus. He sounds so, like a frat boy. He probably fucks like crazy. <laughs> exactly. He can drink more than anybody. Yeah. Real. I don't like him. Bus, my oh. boy. Bus I don't like bus. <laughs> <laughs> I already know him and I don't like him. <laughs> Damn, that's cold. All right. I'll, uh, all right. Thank you. Alexandra, thank you so much for the 20 gifted. That's so nice of you. Appreciate that. There's so, so many names being thrown out now. <clears throat> well, if you see anything interesting, Elo, let me know. But I, I mean, so here uh, to show off the uniform, though, we've got the beret. This is a Teddy Fresh beret, right? Yes. Is it now? So we love that. This is the H3 podcast. Formerly known as a wife beater, now known as a tank top, <laughs> the mesh top, 
Hello. Hey, Hello. easy. You should be cheap for the kids. We don't want to get age restricted. Out. Parachute, pants, and uh -huh. black Crocs. Yeah. Sick. So this is our going to be our daily attire <laughs> for the rest of the year. I thought we were just doing it today. What do you mean? <laughs> this is the H3 uniform. I, uh, for the gag, I understand. It's not a gag. I can't do my job in this. My arms are like constricted, bro. So we can. Well, cut. it's because you have the shirt underneath. You need to free yourself. No, up. even with that, it's. No, I'll help you, Zach. Let's cut the mesh at your elbows. It'd be fire. <laughs> Anyone got scissors? Let's do yeah, that. I do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, we can make adjustments as needed for sure. You know. Wait, Sam's gonna. Yeah. Cut me yeah, up. Sam is the designer. Sam, you did you envision this as a daily fit, right? Yeah. I yeah. Mean, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so comfortable. Your shit is flipped. I can't say I'm comfortable, to be My honest. Shit was flipped. I feel like the I feel like a piece of uh, feel like a piece of cheese in a cheesecloth or something <laughs> being squeezed <laughs> through these little holes. I feel like I look like yeah. uh, the Village People expansion pack right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah I, DLC. I, like a salami. I feel yeah. like a salami did. Somebody said Lucifer. People name their kid that. Damon, Demon, Lucifer. Hell yeah! Damien? Kids are naming their kid Lucifer for people. You should There's got to be someone out there named Lucifer. You should name right? him Byron, dude. Kids named That's Lucifer. Cool, Doesn't Lucifer mean like Lightbringer? Lightbringer, yeah. Oh Lucifer. shit! I guess Son it's not morning. that popular. Here's a headline of some lady that tried to name her baby Lucifer, and get, apparently she got death threats. <laughs> oh my god! People were not happy. Oh, that's They're crazy. like, that is the. It's just a name. It's the Antichrist. What His about Lucy? Lucifer? Lucy? Yeah. For a baby boy? It's a cool name. No, maybe not for a boy. Oh, for just girl. We are having a boy. We're just having a boy. Yeah. <laughs> just in general. Yeah, yeah. I like yeah. it. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to do this every day. She she cut my elbow, so we're... Oh, good. <laughs> we're good. To go. We're yeah. good? Yeah, we're good. Nice. <laughs> mm. We have a really fun episode today. Uh, Cav Cav dipped down from the heavens to bring us some new content. Ryan Kavanaugh, friend of the show. Yes. These nice. balls. He did a whole interview with like some C-list reality show stars. It had like 300 views yesterday mm. and it has 500 now. I'm pretty sure from our <laughs> subreddit. I haven't watched it, but I've heard that it's phenomenal. I mean, he's on there for like 40 minutes talking about me. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. And uh, it's called, the episode is called The Truth About the Lawsuit. Now, mm -hmm. I have to request, Ethan, that you don't say today anything that might end up in court, because look at us. Well, uh, fuck. It'd be funny if the lawyers have to watch this. Well, it, that does typically happen when I look good. Mm -hmm. Well, we got the buttons. I Keep must respectfully disagree. I think it's a good thing that you're dressed like this. Mm -hmm. Like, look how mm -hmm. we're dressed. Like, you're, it's a comedy podcast. Yeah, okay. I'm Didn't I get canceled here. in The Penguin or something? Every time it's like in a big <laughs> outfit. I think yeah. with the haircut, the like wild haircut. Oh, the head. wild haircut. Is yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah with, was that the Ben Shapiro thing? Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. fuck. Because, yeah. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, I don't think the haircut really helped there. No, it didn't help at all. <laughs> <laughs> I ran into Jeff Whittick after that, and that was the first thing. He like came up to me. He was like so excited. He was like, dude, it's so fucking funny that I keep seeing Ethan everywhere with that haircut. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> super funny, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> Super funny. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah, but so we got the Cav Cav um, episode to watch. We've got Jay Shetty threaten me on Instagram. You won't Unbelievable. believe what he, what he texted mm. me, messaged me. Scumbag coward. I haven't responded yet. You guys can tell me what to say. Okay. We also have uh, some... Oh, Jake Jew... Jake <laughs> Jew Little. Jake Little. <laughs> Jew Little. Oops. <laughs> Jake Doolittle issued an apology. Oh, no. I didn't know. It's Ethan, short. It's that's short. not how that works. <clears throat> so we'll watch that, and I'll give my, my thoughts on that. Oh so much God. to talk about here today. Your life is so dramatic, Ethan. Well, I am a messy bitch. I say that all the time. <laughs> I am a catty, messy bitch. A basic... Basic too, though. Oh, far from Do we basic. Like, yeah. No, you're far from We basic. don't like basic bitches? Yeah. No. Are you kidding me? You're the, the you're opposite like, of a basic bitch. Somebody's got to stand girl. for basic bitch. In bitches, your though. world, basic does not exist. You are really? bitch! Thank you. <laughs> Some people take pride in being a basic bitch. I feel like. Yeah. yeah. Not Ethan Klein. I'm a basic bitch. I'm sorry. You know, <laughs> I go home, I cook, I clean. Is that what it means? I don't know. No. <laughs> no. I'm a basic B-word. It means, B -word. for example, reading a, a sponsor read, like just following the lines. 
Yeah. Oh, that's basic. That's, basic. that's so basic. Oh. I wish you were basic. <laughs> Lame ass basic hoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so now you get it. <laughs> so what else we got? Oh, we did. This is the big segment. Segment I've been teasing is that we all went to this specialty photography store that Ian spotted at the uh, what's the name of that mall in Hollywood? Um, Hollywood. It's just called the Hollywood and Highland. Hollywood and Highland or whatever. <laughs> uh, where the Dolby is. And they specialize in taking close up photography of eyeballs. And we saw this and I said, now is the time to finally settle, settle the dispute. Who has hazel eyes? Mm -hmm. Who has beautiful, stunning uh, hazels with licks of green? Mm -hmm. And who's got terrible <laughs> brown fucking turd eyes? <laughs> you know? And we, we're gonna find out. So everybody, find all out. of us did it. <laughs> and what we're gonna do is try to guess whose eye is whose. Try to match it up. So nobody has seen anyone else's eyes, except Ian, who's been gracious enough to uh, be the eye master. What do you the think, Ian? Master. Any any surprises back there? Yeah, there was one eye in particular that was pretty, um, it's pretty jacked. Mine. <laughs> Muscular eye. Oh, mus yeah, he was telling us that. Very some, interesting. Yeah, some eyes you can see a lot of muscle, apparently. I also, uh, I asked the guy, I said, can you tell me who has uh, the hazel eyes in this group? And he did give me an answer. A real mm. answer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what did he say? It now? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, that. he actually told you? Because what you told me. Yeah, at, at first I said, can you tell me who has hazel eyes? And he's like, you guys all have hazel eyes in your That's my way. mom. <laughs> And then I said, no, but if you had to make a decision, and oh. he did give me a response. Oh. And, okay, and he, he okay. apparently is the eye authority. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. if not him, then who? This guy's seen a lot of eyes. <laughs> so we've got that. we got the Jay Shetty. Oh, and then another. we have another segment plans. The Stanley Cup that everyone's losing their mind over. Mm -hmm. There's a viral uh, video of it, of a Stanley Cup that was burnt in a car fire. Person opens up the car door, jiggles it, the ice is still in there. So here's what we've done. Got a Stanley Cup. We're going to fill that bitch up with ice mm -hmm. all the way. Cold mm -hmm. as shit. We have a barbecue. We have a barbecue in a safe location with a raging flame. And we're going to barbecue a Stanley Cup and see if that bitch stay icy. Okay. I think that might be a viral. I think that might be a psyop. Is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> sure. The whole the Stanley Cup uh, burn cup. I think it might be a psyop. What does that mean? Like it's a phony. Oh. It's a fake. Yeah. We got him. It's a fake. Because there's no way that cup's staying cold over the I barbecue. I mean, the hydro flask already does that, so I'm just kind of. Well, we're gonna test the hydro flask too. Because mm -hmm. okay. I gotta be honest, the Stanley Cup, the design of it, I don't quite get. The top is plastic. There's a hole for a straw. The shit I use called the hydro flask. That's sealed tight, boy, and ready to go right mm -hmm. now. Did you bring yours? Yes. Okay. Where is it? It's in that in bag. go set up for it. In yeah, hold bag. that up. Uh, I've never actually even handled one, uh, AB, if you could. You want to bring it over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, bring, yeah, let me take a look I at it. I never heard thing. of those until last week when you guys told me about this story. <clears throat> People are just like. And. Oh, okay. Oh, this, oh my God. Oh, there's stuff in it already. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's a pretty good thermos. You can feel it. How much is this? That is uh, forty-five dollars. Why is it so big? It's huge. Who is Damn. drinking this much? I mean, this is like heavy. Like you're carrying this around. People yeah. carry this around. The fuck? I know. And like I'm such kids a carry hater. that around. Like my niece was Thank like you. saying how everyone in her school had one. I was like, it's bigger than your your I'm, head. I oh. cannot like, begin huh? to tell you how much I hate this thing visually. Just visually, I don't. I don't like anything about it. Do they have a mini version? Because they, they do. That no, but this is the this is the one to be down. You have to have this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just curious what the kids it's are. It's almost around. aggressive. Yeah, no, they're it's like chill. Like it's a You're big just slurp. A cup. It's a big slurp made classy, which is not something we ever needed as society. Um, this is the one I use. This is the one that I think is awesome. Hydro flask. So we're gonna yeah. test this Me side too. by side. I don't leave the house with that one always. But I don't know. This one. This one's got something sturdy going on there too. You will never see me walking around with this. I don't know how logistically I would <laughs> even do that. You know. But okay, so that's exciting. So much to look forward to, everybody. Here's the different sizes. So there is another one. It's bigger. So this is the 40-ouncer? 
Yeah, so there's one even there's bigger. There's even though. bigger. Yeah. yeah. Who are you trying to impress? Clearly compensating for your tiny, tiny, tiny uh, flask. There's been so many stories about kids being bullied for having like off-brand ones. It's oh insane. my god! For real? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking losers. Wow. Probably poor too. For off-brand thermos, right? They're probably yeah, kids are lame. Boy. as fuck. I know. Your mom doesn't have forty dollars. Spit on people. Loser. Spit on them. Spit Blasts. on them. Spit on them. Okay, yeah, Ethan, um, Pussies. just to go back to the basic <laughs> comment, like, I kind of think this is basic. That's a basic bitch thing? No, Careful. No offense to the people in the office that use this cup. Don't. You better apologize to everyone in the <laughs> audience, because I know, I know the basics out there. Oh, I, I'm, I'm basic bitch. pride, so. If, <laughs> so all my basic bitches out here walking around with Stanley's, <laughs> I see you. I see you, girl. And I'm with you. Is it uh, guy? Do guys walk around with this? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, I don't. Some, some basic ass dudes. <laughs> I do not get that at all, man. I got the generic. I guess I would get clowned on. I don't think this. I'm gonna is beat anything. your There's ass. Like no logo bro. on this, Dan. I'm gonna fucking beat your ass for bringing that <laughs> shit around here. I'm fuck you up, dude. You're Dumbass disgusting. blast. Spit on you. Which one do you have then? It, it doesn't have a name on it. It's literally just no. Hold it up. No brand. See? That's good. No name. That's good. Oh, a fan gave me these stickers, actually. <laughs> so if you're watching, shout out. <coughs> so, um, we got a lot going on. So let's go to the top of the show and see what's what's popping here. Oh, we have a tiny little, um, a micro drop? A flash drop? What would you call it? Yeah. Um, the, the, the people have been clamoring for the bow tie set today, and it's moving fast, so don't hesitate. The beret with uh, bows is out. Mm -hmm. Got your hat. Beautiful hat. Yeah. Truly uh, stunning. We've got the uh, Sock? the socks with bows. We've got the sweater with bows. Not sweater. No. It's a, it's a top. It's not a sweater. No, it's not a sweater. It's and like what? jersey. Okay. Not a sweater. It's a top, people. And then is this, this show? This is her in the whole fit, eh? Yeah. This is the same photo, isn't it? Or am I tripping? Mm, possible. Anyway, you could be this. You could stunt on the <laughs> world in this. Um, actually, you know what I want to watch? Because Ela's CEOing it up. Oh no. Teddy Fresh Instagram. Ela's been doing these videos where she goes through all the details and close. Uh, close video examples, and I love it. I think it's tremendous. Here, check it out. To walk you through this flash drop that we just did. We... The audio's kind of bad, right? It's just, uh, well, actually, we're using the... Oh, yeah, the road. The road lab. Uh, sounds uh, bad, right, AB? Yeah, it sounds a little... It sounds like an iPhone out. shit. We couldn't wait, and we just wanted sure to it sounds it like this. Uh, it's running through our whole system. It might... There's yeah. probably some weird EQing going on. It seemed fine. It might still seem phone. weird. Maybe. I don't know if it sounded weird when you listened on the phone. Anyway, here it is. These are the bow beret. We have this cute metal version of our logo bear and then bows all around. Spit. These are the two colors. I haven't been able to stop wearing it. So <laughs> we the also people made want to these know. cute socks to go with it. We got the cute little button here, the teddy bear button. Damn! I'm even wearing it today. The details. Lastly, is this shirt that we've done before with the colorful apps previously. <laughs> this time we did it in all black with the ribbons everywhere. We wanted to do naps. a little it was mini a weird drop cut. and not wait cut, any though. longer because I've been getting so many questions about the hat. Damn. So Damn. there it is for you to enjoy. If you like it. Hi I guys. Like I like it because there's so many great details and the attention to quality and detail in the clothing is great. And I don't, I always feel like it's not captured mm. in our marketing. So I like Thank these you. videos. Your marketing. I have nothing to do with it. <laughs> so anyway, teddyfresh.com. Check it out. It sounds good on the phone, by the way. Okay, mm. that's nice. Okay. So there are sizes so selling out already. So they can so move cute. on it. Thank you. Thank you. With peace and love, of course. So what else we got? Um, <laughs> I did Howie's um, episode yesterday. It was fun. Not much to report, I don't think. It was fun though. I always have fun with Howie. We have we have yeah. good. We have good <laughs> shtick. Yeah, we have good rapport, me and Howie. We do have the rapport. We got a new soundbite. 
Mm. Yes, you want to play it? I have a micro dick. <laughs> wow. That's a I lot, sent that Howie. to Zach during the <laughs> broadcast. Pulled it uh, instantly. Yeah. It it's says really it good. with so much passion. Well, then I have a micro dick. And then immediately afterwards, he goes, Oh, I'm about to get sound bited, uh, aren't I? <laughs> he, knew. He, he knew. He knew. He knew. So we added a good one to the repertoire. It was fun, though. He had a dumpling eating, uh, a professional food eater, speed eater. Yeah. And she crushed like. She crushed like 80 dumplings in five minutes. Whoa. It was, it was a lot. It was Apparently a, lot a world record. Oh. Wow. By far. Wow. By far? By o far. Official? Well, there wasn't a Guinness person there, but. Okay. They're I, never there. I question the authenticity of the whole Guinness organization. <gasps> I feel like they just need to show up. When somebody does a world record, they just need to show up. They got to know. Knock, knock. Here we are. <laughs> Here's the thing. If you heard you're doing something big here. <laughs> Yeah, they smashing through the windows. <laughs> <clears throat> well, I hear that you know if you pay Guinness enough, they'll make anything a, an award. Like plus the most time mm -hmm. sat on the couch playing Baldur's Gate three. Right. It's kind of like record. when you find out that celebs will call paparazzi on themselves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it kind of feels like that. It's so that it's so that you just pay them and they give you the award. That's mm -hmm. it. It's a bullshit organization. So we don't need them to you know, validate yeah. what we saw that day. It was very good. Anyway, here's a little sample, I guess. I don't know. Give a shout out to my boy. We're live One, again. Two. I don't know why he keeps inviting me on the live shows. <laughs> like he's begging for shit to happen. And then every time we do a show, I he gets like, something happens that gives him existential fear. Oh God. What happened that time? What happened? There's something that freaked him out. Oh yeah, wow. he was talking about the um, vagina. Any versus Audi vaginas. Well, because he was showing the Matt Reif clip, uh. and then he was con he was like defending Matt kind of vagina. Oh, he was going after Brooke because he's like, who would s admit that she has an Audi vagina? What? And I was oh, like, Howie, 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 we got to back Howie. it up. I gave him some media training on the spot. <laughs> we took care of it. We took nice. care of it. Yeah. We I we was... we won everyone wow. over. Yeah. Okay. By the end, everyone was was. Um, Tagging Audis for Howie, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> or Howie's, yeah, yeah. So, so we turned it around for him. We did. Okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah. You did a beautiful job. Oh Crisis management. Wow. Ethan. Yeah, yeah. We took care of him. You know, I always got his back. I like that you knew the drama, <laughs> mm -hmm. right? Because right. of her PowerPoint. Oh yeah. yeah. You were like, I know, I know this next part, Howie. Just wait. I know Just everything. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But we say we say we stand all vaginas of all shapes and sizes here, yes. right? And then she made a joke about line, her her vagina line dancing on the cushion, <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. But he's like, I imagine a whole army of people, like the whole kit and caboodle, the whole square dancing bar. They're Who all made that joke. How he did? No, the girl Brooke said her vagina was. On her podcast? Or? Square dancing. Yeah, she yeah. She said, yeah, <laughs> pussy it's doing funny. the line dance on the couch. The line right. dance, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we love Howie, and uh, we, we honor him. So thank you. <laughs> um, shout out to Austin McBroom, who's already posting really pathetic <laughs> thirst traps. Really, really <laughs> down bad type of shit. Really golly. so, Ooh, so heartbroken. I mean, they've been broken up for what, like one and a half days? <laughs> Look at this. It's really gonna be hard for him to move on. He says, now I need a massage. <laughs> Bro, are you for real right now? <laughs> oh my god. Please. I'm begging me. girls out there to not mm. go. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this sultry. <laughs> he goes, Whoa. feels so good to take a sh cold shower after a workout. Look at this sultry ass. <laughs> now, listen, I... I'm not afraid to admit when a man is attractive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think I don't I don't think he's got it. He's all that. I don't think he's got he's it at all. all Certainly not to post a photo like this, man. Yeah. You know, like he just doesn't have it. He doesn't have a cute face. I don't see the je ne sais quoi happening in that. Chapter. No, no. He's not even close to to je ne sais quoi. Like, what he's just quoi. <laughs> he's just quoi. <laughs> But what about the timing? Like, at least show some class. He can't right. help it. What are you showing to the next girl? Mm -hmm. That you're gonna forget about it in a second? He wants to mm -hmm. smash, he can't help it. God.
Damn, yeah, mama. Damn. Wait, is that what he said when he grabbed his daughter's ass? He's no. <laughs> or he spanked his daughter's I ass. Think, I think so, yeah. I no. think it is. Yeah, no, I thought, I'm almost positive. He said that when he spanked his daughter's I, ass. I we, don't we, know if that's true. I'm, I'm let's checking look it up. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I feel no, like I you're think right, but I think it I'm right. makes me I grossed right. out. But I'll say this. In his defense, we watched the clip, and I remember there was... A pretty good consensus of like it's, it's his kid and it was fine. Yeah, I think when you're describing it, it sounds way worse. But what he said is really not. Yeah, okay. damn, mama. <laughs> no, that was not about okay. his daughter. Okay, we'll find out. Because there's no way with that soundbite associated with it, we would have come to that conclusion. I think because I remember that conversation. We'll find out. I okay. Think it then is okay. right. He said something similar. Yuck. That was what gave everybody a little bit of the heebie-jeebies. Yeesh. Okay, we'll, I found it. He he, it, that's not the exact soundbite, but he does say "goddamn." So, mm. can you send it to me, and I'll play the soundbite. I'm not going to show it. Okay. For yeah. the sake for the sake of the that's, that's obvious for the sake of, of the world for the yeah. sake of the world <laughs> for the sake anyway. of the world yeah. But I do want to hear what he says. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Austin McBroom slaps his daughter's butt. Okay. Don't. Austin show. just started working out. By the way, can you guys tell? Wait. Hold Wait. On. Yeah, that that's not Wait, well, don't show it. Uh, yeah, you can add it up for a second. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, do you not hear me? Evidently not. Okay. Don't show it. Should I button? No, no. Yeah, You're good. Did you show anything? I don't think it showed it. Yeah, it didn't it show it. Here. It was on screen for a second. Okay, don't show it. I my, just want the audio. My, my fuck up saved it because the timestamp was a little out. There you go. <laughs> nice job, baby. You're welcome. Yeah. Nice. You're welcome. <laughs> We love we love when incompetence comes in through. Joke, <laughs> no, you're not incompetent. Uh, here it is. I hope I'm bugging out, but watch this. I'll be working out too much. I get fat. I should get fat. Yeah, lights. Oh God, I can't. Whoa. Oh, like I <laughs> that's wait. That's pretty wild, right? That's fucking insane. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that. Wait, well, watch it again. Just list. Just yeah, watch. And oh God, I can't. Wait, that's like really fucking kind of bad. very weird, no? Pretty bad. That was a what? different sound bite though, right? Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. You're right. Yeah, it is. It's. But that it one is. also. But it is kind of close. Seemed bad. Yeah. Yeah. All I gotta say, awesome. you guys, just started working out. By the way, can you guys tell? But like again, I would, I would, I would hesitate before um, accusing a parent of yeah. of anything untoward. But it is pretty a pretty wild thing to do. That's <laughs> no good. I think what God, made it like, oh, wow. what made it bad as well is around the same time he posted a Snapchat of his daughter, his young daughter, with like a big like was it the dildo thing? Yeah, like oh. sucker. Oh it was a big sucker that was in the shape of a penis, um, and she's like pretending to like lick it and stuff, and he posted that. That was not a good look. You should not do that to your daughter. No, no, no. He had she content def- brain. That's yeah. just. Awesome. Just started working out. By the way, can you? Guys- I d- I don't want to show you guys. It, it is genuinely pretty yeah, weird. It's not cool. No. But uh, okay. There it is. Austin McBroom, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, that's almost Come like get shocking. a piece. Come get He some. needs a massage so bad. They're actually, he posted a new um, thirst trap. Here's another one. Just posted from today, I believe. Take a look. Let's see. This man posted this. He, he posted this. That's insane. He said, who trying to get it next? That's absolutely Hit me insane. up. Wow. Okay. Not oh. it. He said, "Hit me up." Yeah, HMU. Yeah. Oh, oh look, you can like type. Oh, type he's in just there. straight up yeah. soliciting sex from fans. Absolutely. That's not going to be trouble for him. <laughs> I thought I was extra. No wonder she left you. I do wonder. Yeah, uh, there's plenty of reasons. No, he didn't even wait one second. <laughs> what? Well, the what rumor is he's been cheating on her. No, so I know that, but like to just shamelessly, publicly, up. straight up. Say this. It's a lot. You guys You're just mo- announced it. Yeah. Give it a give it. At You're least not be- even divorced yet. Go to the club. You know what I mean. Keep it on the DL. All right. You know what? I think we might have got got with this. This is. Oh, the is it old? I'm looking. Okay, because yeah, this is kind of like unless he really insane or fake. Yeah. I just need a little excitement in my life. If it is fake, then I I would like to make that clear. Yeah. Um. Let's see. If you go to his TikTok, it looks like this video right here. You think someone edited it up? Oh, yeah, yeah. that's the same video. Oh. So somebody got us? Uh. Unless he reused it as like a story. This is from three, four years ago. Oh, okay. 
Uh, you got me, you got me. It's okay, somebody okay. got us, somebody yeah. got us. Apologies to Austin for that one. Whoever posted this, do we temp ban them? What do we do for getting us? Oh, don't show it, don't show it. I didn't mean to actually. Yeah, thank you. I yeah, can't get over that. No misinfo. Uh, Alright, well that's... You can't get over it. No, that makes more it's sense. It's fucking disgusting. That's like very... Love really got hit my, by, by what, the, yeah, what he saw. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't show it. I think that would be very oh, yeah, I don't want to awful show that. to mm -hmm. people and to the child in the video. Gosh. But so, I mean, just to describe, he they're all sitting on the couch as a family. His daughter is just standing up in his lap, essentially. And he was talking about his butt. He's yeah. getting firm because he's been working out. And then he looked over at his daughter and smacked her ass. You can hear the smack and the sound. Mm -hmm. And he goes, God damn. Yeah. No bueno. His daughter's like, what, five maybe? Looks like? I don't know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's just. God just damn. He did not say that. He did not say that. <laughs> but pretty close. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? So that's that. We probably thank our sponsors and then get into our main segments, eh? All right, we got two sponsors. Let's thank them all, and then we'll get into so much great content. You guys are going to be losing your damn minds. Yeah. Oh, somebody said Leon is a sick name. That was actually on my list. Ethan, I name thoughts? Leon growing up, I, like I think Ryan Kavanaugh would... I think Ryan Kavanaugh likes the name Leon because he wants to have sex with the... Not what did he say? Where are we going with this? <laughs> because is Leon. Oh, you're doing like a video. Leon professional Leon. thing? Yeah. Uh, oh, he I, wishes I, his I, name was Lee. Well, but then. Chewy no, still doesn't really. <laughs> have an inappropriate relationship with a 14 year old Natalie Portman. No, I get it. I got it. Well, she I, I, was I, I in get the, that. She was in the oh movie. Oh, my God. You know what? That might be your funniest joke. <laughs> well, I don't hear you laughing. <laughs> I, I, it's, I had oh to think about God. it, but it's fucking funny. Dude. But isn't there another one called Leon? The it's called Leon the Professional. That's yeah. the name. Yeah. Of the movie. Okay. Yeah. So I know what the fuck I'm saying. I love that movie. But, but he doesn't. Well, no, he was talking about Luke. No, Ryan right. Kavanaugh. Because he was he was talking about yeah, Luke Besson. You're 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 right. You're right. Play the Ryan Kavanaugh soundbite. <laughs> An inappropriate relationship with a fortune. He was <laughs> told. He was told he would be able to have a. What's the first part of that soundbite? He, he's he's talking about Luke Besson. Yeah. The director of that movie. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I, Luke. Started his relationship with his wife when she was 16, I believe. But I'm talking about but, Natalie Portman. Yeah, so he says, thank, thank you, you, Luke. Luke. <laughs> thank you, Luke. Thank you, Luke. <laughs> and then he says... An inappropriate relationship with a 14-year-old <laughs> Natalie Portman. So my point being... <laughs> What was my point? What is your <laughs> point? You like, said I, Leon. I, I, you, your mind made the connection. Leon, you said you liked the but, name Leon. Yes. And then I said and then Ryan Kavanaugh. It. I said Ryan Kavanaugh likes the the name Leon too. No, he doesn't. He does because he wants to have an inappropriate relationship with fourteen year old Natalie Portman. <laughs> I, I think it's funny. Thank you, Zach. I think it's funny. I love you, I buddy. I think that's some high level. Listen, as long as our minds are connected, that's <laughs> that's what the show. I that's followed all the connection. Matters. I'm still just you know what? Never mind. If Brian Kavanaugh job, likes my, the name Leon. I might job right. to think like you. So he wishes he was Leon. But Leon, did, uh, I mean, he did not have right. It's implied, but it's implied. he would have. <laughs> it's implied. <laughs> there is, isn't there some kind of weird? It's implied. Oh my god. Wait, yeah. I watched it as a kid. There was some weird thing. So I don't know. Do you think so? Well, she was in love with him, right? There was a little bit of that, but he doesn't. He of do course anything. not. Okay. Right. However, so that's why Ryan Kavanaugh, was if he rest. was Leon Wood, by his own admission. Okay, right. Yeah. The best uh, jokes need this level of explanation. I no, you, I, I think it's all one of his wife, Luke Basson, the director, met he met her when she was twelve and he was twenty nine. Oof. And they began dating when she was fifteen. Okay. This is why we will never have a name for the baby, <laughs> you guys. I'm just being I'm just forewarning you, okay? If you want to go Leon, just you think didn't Ryan need Kavanaugh. You to go Ryan Kavanaugh on the Leon. I'm just telling you, you what You are it is. an Elton John fan. What about Levon? We thought like about him. Levon. What about we Daniel? We thought about Elton too. I love Daniel. Elton's name your kid Daniel. Daniel's cute. Daniel looks cute. like Daniel. <laughs> that would be so <laughs> weird. <Yeah. laughs> But it's like we already know Daniel. I threw it out as a joke, but you were both oh. like, "No, no, no, no. It, it, I it, like the song. That's it." <laughs> I have grown up with Mega Man. Yeah. Why is your voice deeper when you're like 13? I don't know. That's his. That's Dan. Did you call I have that? I grown up with Mega Man. <laughs> well, not that no. one. No. 
This is him when he's like nine, I guess, or thirteen. Played again, Zach. I have grown up with Mega Man. <laughs> what? <laughs> he was in a commercial for Mega Man. It could also be oh. old tape too. Uh, That's true. VHS was yeah. probably warped at this point. So anyway, uh, shout out to our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> Which is where we were going and <laughs> somehow ended up where we were. Thank you to Shopify. I love them so much. Mm-hmm. One of the best businesses in the game today in terms of credibility, reputation, and quality of service. Mm-hmm. I, as far as partners I've had in my professional life, mm-hmm. Shopify is the most, one of the greatest. Consistent. Absolutely. The platform is amazing. If you want to get into e-commerce, if you are in e-commerce, do it with Shopify because the tools they give you is great from beginning to end. Teddy Fresh, for example, from day one was Shopify. Mm -hmm. Back then, we didn't know a thing. It was just me and Ela, and we didn't know anything. Yet we were able to make an e-commerce website and sell stuff. Mm -hmm. And from then, we've built up into the company we have today on the same platform because it it has that flexibility. It really is phenomenal. They got a, an add-on shop with apps that are all tremendous. A lot of the apps have their own team behind it, so they're right. like super high quality. Mm-hmm. They've got uh, a group of like expert um, uh, web designers who, are, who specialize in their platform. And uh, here, let me read some of their notes because they know better than me. Also, starting out as YouTubers, for us, it was important that it would be a very secure website that can be easily like taken down or messed with because people nothing try that kind of stuff with online people. So nothing. That never happened. Never been down one never. time. Never. Let's see. Shopify is a global e-commerce platform. We know that. From launch... From the launch your shop online, we know that. If you're selling scented soap or offering outdoor outfits, I will edit, right. If you're selling anything, anywhere, you can do it from their all-in-one e-commerce platform. And they also have in-person POS systems, Mm -hmm. which we used recently, right? Yes. So people can come. If you want to set up a store, you get one of their POS systems. You can charge people's cards straight to your store. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Get better than that, does it? Shopify helps you turn your browser into buyers with the internet's best converting checkout. 36% better on average compared to other leading commerce platforms. Easy, easy money. And uh, sell more with less effort thanks to Shopify Magic, your AI powered all star. I still, <laughs> we still have want to fit. I want to know what the fuck or what the bleep, right? <laughs> what the bleep? Do they care? Probably not. And they sponsor me. I love Shopify though. That's that much is true. Yeah. Um, check it out, guys. We got a special deal for all y'all. Here it is. Uh, it's time to break through to the next level, guys. <clears throat> it's time to achieve your dreams in business and beyond. You know what I'm saying? Check it out. Sign up for one dollar per month trial period. At Shopify.com slash After Dark. All lowercase, by the way. Go to Shopify.com slash After Dark now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. That's Shopify.com slash After Dark. Thank you to Shopify. We love, love, love them. Mm-hmm. Sure do. So much. Oh, yeah. And finally, another brand that I just can't say speak highly enough about. Gamer Sup. Gamer Sup's Nation. Oh, Sigma Brain's back in stock. Was it sold out? That's awesome. Yeah, it was sold out last time. Hmm. The caffeinated one was, um, but uh, not no more. Well, let's be real. The Fooper Troopers, we need to get We get juiced up, baby. Speaking of, just a little technical issue here. We have some technical issue, it sounds like. What do we do about it? (laughs) What are we going to do about it? I am rectangular. I feel no. 
You buttoned again. <laughs> if I button, does it? When do we run out of button time? <laughs> you continuously button it; it'll keep extending it. So, but we're but we're gotta, here. We're we're live. But you gotta run out of button eventually. We are live. Yeah, but if you hit the button like three times, that's a minute. We don't have a minute. It's because it, it no, it rolls. It, it, you can do it indefinitely. <laughs> really? If I hold down this button, they'll just see the button <laughs> screen for a long period of time. Um. So anyway, we were taught. We were giving lots of praise to gamer subs. And good news, everybody. Energy. The Sigma Brain Energy is back in stock. Also, there's a Skater Girl Waifu Cup. You guys. Sheesh. We love that. Um. <laughs> that's so cool. That y'all bought it all. I mean, that's terrific. So if you guys want more Sigma Brain, which in my opinion is the best flavor in the game. Mm -hmm. It's a little spicy, Ease. but in the, the best way possible. If you don't like spicy, you will still like this. And that's my pledge and my guarantee. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's a spicy margarita style of drink. It's um, lemon lime with that touch of spice. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Really is tremendous. Uh, they have caffeine free options as well. Here's the thing. There's no sugar. It's fortified with vitamins, minerals, electrolytes. It's got everything you need to get charged up, ready to go. It's Gamer Subs. It keeps you hydrated. And best of all, they support our show. Mm-hmm. That's right. Cheers, my dude. Cheers, my Cheers. dude. Cheers. Cheers, my dude. Guys, go to gamersubs.gg and use the code H3 to get 10% off your order. Thank you. Gamer subs, and thank you to everybody who supports our sponsors. Thank you. All right, how do we do? That was good. Shout out. Hopefully, I didn't just lose two sponsors. Nah, they're the best. <laughs> they're the best. Well, the game, the gamer subs one we saved. That one's fine. I just said that. I just said the f word during Shopify. I don't think they care. Oh yeah. Some sponsors care if you curse. That's all. That right, I don't think. They're that harsh about it. Well, if they're sponsoring us, then they probably yeah. don't care about anything. I know what they signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> I know what they you know, signed up for. We love them, though. All right, so what do you guys want to do first? We've got the... Um... God, there's so much to do. Damn, we're gonna let's be... get into the eye thing. Yeah. The yeah. eye thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because um, yeah. there's kind of a game associated with that, and it might yeah. take a little bit. So okay, hold on. Started early. Let's, let's do that first. Uh -huh. Let's do a poll. I want to know what people are interested in. We've got the eye game. We've got the cup experiment. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. We've got Jay Shetty. Mm -hmm. We've got Ryan Kavanaugh. Oof. And we have Jake Jewlittle. <laughs> Jews. <laughs> what did I say? I what? What did I say? You said J Jake Jewlittle. Jake Jewlittle. I meant it. Right. <laughs> 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 uh, you want me to poll? That was more than uh, five options. I got I to gotta point out. I, I segment. Tucker. Ryan Cav Cav. Let me read you some names People while said you do Tucker. that. A Tucker. Stanley. No, Tucker. Panera Klein. Cup. Um, I'm dreaming of my next Tucker. Cooper. Pooper? Cooper. Cooper. Jade. Carlos. <laughs> Artie. <laughs> Eel Pit Klein. Winston. It's actually on our list. Felix? Nah, that's too weird. But Winnie? Name him Big. Big Winnie Klein. the Pooh. Mount Rushmore Klein. <laughs> Big Klein. <laughs> Big Klein, baby. Kendrick. Kendrick? I love Big. <laughs> Kenny's kind of dope. If it's Kendrick. <laughs> oh, people want the Cav Cav. Oh, wait. This is a close. There's a, there's a big battle happening here in the chat. Um, Lupus. <laughs> Lupus <laughs> Klein. <laughs> <laughs> Named after my condition that I've struggled with all my life. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the eye segment is winning, and that's good, because we're going to do that first. And second place, fantastic. It's Cav Cav update, and we're going to oh, get wow. into that. Fantastic. Okay. Nobody cares about the Stanley Cup. Good. Which is surprising, because I am guarantee you guys are going to have fun with it. We really, we did something special here today. Yep. <laughs> you wrote Not Jake Jewlittle. Oh my Bro, god. Bro, we can't do, we, this is going to come, this is going <laughs> to no. come off wrong. Oh no. I am Jewish, by the way. The they didn't help you with Ben. I did not. Did not. <laughs> no. Did not at all. Thought it would, but it didn't. 
Okay, let's do the I thing. So, guys, let's get right into it. As I was saying, we have all gone to a special location. Dude, what's the name of this? A oh, Cosmic Eye is the name of it. It's in the West Hollywood Mall. Terrific couple. Really nice. It's a a dude and his wife running Are they it. A couple? They're married, oh. I believe he said. Oh. And um, they've started this company. Uh, very cool. Here's what we saw that Ian's... Wait, no, hold on. Start with the photo that you saw outside the store, Ian, that made us uh, go down this whole adventure. Oh, I'd have to pull that up real quick. Do you <laughs> want to roll the video of the... Yeah, in the meantime, we, we filmed our experience at the mm -hmm. shop, so we'll start with that. Go ahead, please. Okay. We're at Cosmic Eye here in Hollywood. This is Roman. Nice to meet you guys. He is the eye master. You, you're an expert at eyes, right? Yeah, yeah, 100%. We are professionals in taking high resolution pictures of people's eyes. Sounds crazy, right? But there is a lot to see. All eyes are different, like a fingerprint. So you'd be able to determine the exact eye color, right? That's right. So we take a bunch of photos, about 100 photos of the eye with different focus points. After, on post-production, we merge all of those photos together to create this most sophisticated representation of your eye. So yeah, we're about to do high quality pictures for you guys. Say one of the people here, I won't name anybody, is just like really uncomfortable with the fact that they have boring brown eyes. Could you purposely make their eye look blue in the photograph? Um, no, there's yes. no funny business. <laughs> yeah, we, we would like to provide you with the most realistic representation. They're gorgeous, hazel, hazel eyes. eyes. Yeah. yeah, like look at this. How rare would you say that hazel eyes are? Hazel eyes about 3%. 3%? So out of a group of like 11 or 12 people, how likely would it be that there would be, you know, multiple people with hazel eyes? Uh, it's a pretty slim chance, right? Pretty slim. Yeah, yeah. right. And, well, magic could happen. You wrote Hazel? Yeah. You can't do that. This is an official form. This is a Google form. Okay. I want to ask you something in professional opinion. Right. People can bleach their eyes to change the color. That's exactly right. It happens with like a surgical removing of uh, pigment. Does this, does this look... I, I suspect that he has his pigment uh, removed. What are your thoughts on that? I, I think it looks pretty natural. You sure about that? Um, you think his eyes are just so beautiful? They have to be yeah. natural. Yeah. Only nature could make something that perfect. Yeah, you okay. can you, you can see fake right away. His teeth are kind of fucked up. <laughs> but he's a nice dude though. I heard. He's all right. Yeah. He's kind of a. He's actually no. Nah, he's not that good either. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah. Here's what. This is the picture that. Um, started this whole thing off right Ian you were cruising through the mall and you sent this in the group chat yeah what happened? right before the uh, live show just this was next door <laughs> oh yeah it's right pretty, by the entrance yeah it was a uh, nice coincidence and so obviously uh, the eye color conversation has been a big part of 2023 mm -hmm. what is your true eye color well that's the question we've all been asking right and you know I sit here before you as a hazel eyed king and Dan continues to spit on my memory to combat me and say, I know you're not Hazel, I'm Hazel, taking my Hazel glory. Mm -hmm. Right. Stolen Hazel well, we, Valor. All we care about is the truth here today. That's okay. So here's what we're gonna we'll do. To the bottom of it. We got the photos. Oh, this is the scale he gave us. Hold on. Here's a here's just to give you an idea. Oh, these are the eye charts we looked at previously on the show. So I don't know how he's categorizing it. Gray to blue. This man is blind. What do you mean? Look at this. <laughs> that that man has like cataracts or something. That's not normal. <laughs> um, <laughs> look at these beautiful eyes, man. Can't see shit. <laughs> All right. So here's the gallery, guys. Who's Jeepers Creepers? Who's got those peepers? <laughs> and now those are all of our eyes, right? Whoa. That's right, yeah. That's right. Wow. That's crazy. There's some hazels there. Yeah. Mm. There's some beautiful green colors there. Yeah. Hmm. I probably have the most brown dumbest one. But even the brownest dumbest one, there's hints <laughs> of green. There's, kick, there's licks why, of green. Why dumb? Licks why of dumb? green, that's right. <laughs> it's not dumb. Not dumb. The dumbest looking eye. All right, so nobody knows whose eyes is who, except Ian. Everybody only has seen their own. Mm. 
I we, haven't even have seen my own. own yeah. So I don't know. I actually don't know which one is mine. Mm. But everyone's going to pretend like they don't know which one is theirs for the sake of the game. So here we go. I number one. Beautiful uh, Whoa. blue. Oh my god. Nice That's... texture coming on. A, just a little licks, as I say, of <laughs> tints of I like green. that word. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, can I get one of those? Do we have sweet cream? <laughs> This yeah, <laughs> nice. I like my coffee dark. Self doxing is my hobby. Self doxing. Wait, when do we get that? <laughs> Eli, that's my cup. Somebody made this for you. I'm assuming. <laughs> yeah, somebody made it. So oh, yeah. I mean, so who who here has the blue eyes? It's Dan, Sam, Love. Who else Some has say blue? Who has Ela. who has colored eyes? <laughs> no, no, blue uh, blue. Yeah, uh, Ela, myself, uh, Sam, and Love. I uh, do too. Uh, They're not as beautiful, but I do have. You do. Eyes. Look at me, bro. You're doing a you're doing a yeah, hazel you're thing. Here. You're brown. You have brown <laughs> eyes, your, brother. Look into your, your camera, maybe. You have brown eyes, Wait, brother. Uh, <laughs> I'm confused. Yes. Brown. So this brown. is like these are pretty blue in terms of. This is very blue. That's like just a blue eye right there. There's no shenanigans here. Pull up the chart of everybody's, if you would, please. This is probably, from what I can tell, it's just so true blue. Now, let me see your eyes, Ela. I think your eyes have... Hmm. I feel like that's Dan. I was thinking it could be Dan. It could Maybe be Lo up. Love has really yeah. just blue eyes as well. Dan's is more of a lighter one. Mm -hmm. Like a, a little bit of hazel mixed in. Yeah. That Am remains I? to be seen. Can we see Love's camera? Yeah. Get close to the camera, please, Love. You gotta get do better than that, yeah. If you have a fla uh, phone cam light too to flash in your eye, that'd be good. Can you I do think that? That's love. Yeah. yeah. No, I got you. Howdy, partner. Let me take a look here. I, 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 yeah. I think it might be love. Yeah. Oh yeah. Those are blue, man. Those mm -hmm. are beautiful blues. Blue is blue gets. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank so we'll put that on love. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Just to match, the, it's this one, right? Yeah. Actually, I can't tell. Yes, it's okay. that one. That one? Yeah. Okay, but that one's not even really... It is that one for sure. Okay. Yeah, no, but so... I'm saying, look at the other blues. It's not that different. This um, might be pretty hard. We're going to have to yeah, do some serious guessing here. Hard. Also, just some advice, because you guys didn't see your own yet. Yeah. I was very surprised when I saw my own. And Lena uh -huh. said she was as well. Like, it, I thought mine would look different. Honestly, the top five, there's no way I would know who's who there. Well, what, just they're pretty similar, aren't they? Yeah. All right, what's next? Let's see. Uh, next up, we've got a brown. Oh, look at this Whoa. beautiful. It's like a freshly Whoa. plowed field. Wait, so these are muscles. That's it. That you know what that is? That's a man. That's a person's that's butthole. <laughs> that's funny. Look at that. That's a brown motherfucking yeah. eye right there, boy. To share a Roman's fact, he was he was telling us you can see everyone has blue underneath their eyes. Ah. You can see the little bit of blue on the left. Right. He explained yeah. everyone actually has blue eyes baseline, and then the what? amount of melanin that you have darkens it. Yeah. What? Also, that's, that's a freckle right above. Some eyes have freckles on them too. You can see. Whoa. This is a freckle. Yes. So is that visible by the naked eye that someone just has a black dot on their eye? Oh, uh, we'll yeah, I think to, so. We'll have to check after. That's mm -hmm. very tiny. Though. Some people do have freckles in their eyes. Yeah. So I mean, this is this is a brown eye, you know. Uh, I think that that's Ethan's. You think oh. so? Yeah, yeah, I I thought Ethan immediately. I agree. So that one's got a lot of color. Who else? Brown. Who else has like, like very brown eyes? Honey. I think. Um, I think oh, is this this? Think, oh, this is the brownest one. I this mean, one it it's pretty brown, right? I think brown. that's like the lightest brown. It's this one. That's yeah, the that one, okay. all the yeah, other ones it. have these beautiful situations. That one is just the, the scorched earth. <laughs> and Ian, do you know like those crevices, the muscle? Does more of that mean more? Like, do you have a? Uh, does this one have a lot of muscle? Oh, I don't or? have a. Oh, that's my. I don't have a freckle. Muscle. Uh, not as much I've as never some of the others. It anyway, okay. I don't see Got a it. visible. Freckle. I don't have a freckle in my eye. Yeah. At least it's not visible. <sighs> that okay. could not be then. Hmm. 
It's very tiny, though. It, it, it I don't think tiny. you'd see that, personally. Yeah. Also, I mean, there's so much blue in this eye. I mean, can you even call this person brown-eyed? <laughs> I mean, look but at all I this. I do want to say... Look at this. I do want to say, uh, like yours, Ethan, Zach also has very brown eyes. Oh. Mm. Okay. I was just looking around the room, and I've... Okay. I'm, I'm feeling like that might be another option here. here Can yeah, we get everybody we to need, look into yeah, the we camera? Need, we're going to need everybody to do one of these. Yeah. I can't see it. Can it you switch to it? Zachary. Gee whiz. Oh my god. Right, let me see these things. That's just, that's just <laughs> crazy. Yeah, he's pretty brown. <laughs> yep, you got a pink tone. He's a brown. <laughs> that's just a brown eye right there, brother. <laughs> Gee willikers. <laughs> All right. It's like Twin Peaks. <laughs> So I'd say either either that you or might Zach. Be Zach. So you or Zach. On yeah. the By the way, the process of this is pretty funny. That you sit down, you put your face in a little like cubby, and they just hey, blast you. Hey, can we do you. that to Ethan? To Ethan? Yeah, what you just did to Zach. You're too far away to get oh, gotcha. super close on your eye, though. Don't we have the phone camera? No. I'll take a photo. Let me take a photo. Anymore. We've done this so many times, but I'll take a photo for you guys. <laughs> Maybe we should say Zach for this one. You think so? I think let's just make a guess. We got a lot to get through yeah. here. Zachary. I'm going to say either Zach or Ethan. I don't know. Frank, I have no idea, honestly. Yeah. Um, Zach, uh, let's. Do... I feel like that eye texture is not mine. It's not speaking to me. Yeah. No? I don't, I don't believe this is my eye. I don't believe it. Well, like I said, I did not recognize mine. I thought mine might have been a mistake. Mm. <laughs> so if you're refusing this one, I say we give it to Zach. The... Agree. <laughs> the Lou <loop> POV. <laughs> Okay. No POV. Two down. Huh. <laughs> very good, very good. Moving on, we have another beautiful eye. blue eye with a mm. with a sprinkling of green treasures around. <laughs> it's like a green treasures. Should I say if I think it's mine? Yeah. I think it's mine. Why? Based because on what? I have a freckle. Ah. So maybe. Wait, show me. In your eye. Oh, I see a tiny, tiny, just tiny dark dot. Then that could but it, be. I don't, it doesn't seem like it's on the side. It's kind of lower, no? Or maybe I'm not looking at the right thing. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the, you have that dot, but it's lower on your eye. Okay. Uh, well, I will point out in the uh, the wider thing, the all three of these blue eyes have some degree of Oh, okay, okay. So maybe right, that, that might not be mine. Now I know which one's yours because I know where the freckle is. Okay. That's good. Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's, fine. that's fair game. Yeah. I think so. It's not this. Remember. So it's not this one. It's not this one. So where we've is... determined love, so oh, it's between it's me and Sam. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sam, what are your, uh, let me get a close look here. I know Dan's got pretty, pretty blues, pretty blue babies. This could be Dan. Uh, cause he did, he was very celebratory of the, the green he had in his eyes. <laughs> yeah, who's Sam? Hi. Let me see here. Ooh, pretty. I can't see it, by the way. Oh yeah, we need Second. to... We got like a hyper close up on Sam. <laughs> That's okay. good, what the hell? Oh, wow. the fre She has a little freckle, actually. So pretty. Yeah. So hold on then. That seems like also on the lower part. Right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold it. This is yours. Me? This is Sam's. Ooh. That's yeah. where her this freckle one? was. Yeah, this one's Sam's. I probably oh, wow. Look I at that. I didn't see it. Look at that eye. Sam, your eye is beautiful. Look at this. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> look at the texture. Gorgeous. So wait, we're saying... This is, yeah, ab this is, this is Sam. absolutely Sam's. I yeah. skipped forward. You skipped yeah. forward. But I'll, that, I'll go back that, to where we were. I'll go back yeah. to where but we were. But it's okay. This, that, this is Sam's? Right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So and the one with the Sam. freckle on the bottom is Ela. Which one? And the one with the... That one. So this... Okay, so we're gonna say this is Ela, and that, that just leaves this one for me. Yeah. So can we look at? Okay, so um, we we busted through the blues. Now we just have to do all these that look. Can we see mine the in the big pictures? I want to see what it looks like. Yep. Where's the one? Where's yours? Here, this one's yours. Oh. Or no? Yeah, this one's yours. Yeah, you said with the oh. freckle on the bottom. Right? Look at all that. Wow. Look at all that beautiful. It's like that is lightning. A cool one. It's like the oh it's like God. the heart of lightning, dude. <laughs> Power and lightning. It's like a supernova of emotion, feeling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then cut to mine. Well, we, we have fucking we tar pit. Haven't, tar pit. We haven't found yours yet. It's like love. We signed that one to, uh, to Zach. <laughs> Whoa. Did you see that one? 
this. Whoa, that one's not healthy. Something's wrong with that one. <laughs> How do you make that? <laughs> All right, so where are we? Where are we? Uh, okay, so well, we did this, we did this, we did... Now we're here. No, we did this. We didn't do this. No, we did No. Oh, this no, one looks didn't. exactly the same. What the hell? Hmm. Pretty similar. So it's got to be me and Zach, because we're, you know... We're 100%, both 100%, bustling baby. with Ashkenazi blood. So this one's Zach's. That's the one we assigned to Zach. Or I mean, and the, I mean, I guess, but this one's got too much color in it too. At the same time, my eyes don't have that much color in it. Oh, all of a sudden, it's not hazel. <laughs> no, it is hazel. Well, what's the, the point of all of this? That's hyper hazel. That's hyper hazel. That's hyper hazel. <laughs> well, who has the most hazel eyes in here? Although, me. If you look ahead to the remaining ones, mm. they're all to some degree like that. Wow, yeah. they are very similar. Very you see similar. what I mean? Like, this is pretty hard to differentiate here. All right, so... Olivia, glasses off. Let's see yours. Yeah, let's see. Olivia's got pretty browners. These glasses... Browners, browners. too. Browners. Okay. Brown town. I've got some, I've got some wicked browners. Brown town. <laughs> I did this one. Because something about me is one of them is, like, lighter. So I chose the lighter one. <laughs> Oh that's my a, god, so that's close. Just, that's a brown <laughs> eye right there. Okay. Honestly, there's I don't know. No they're, way they're, we're gonna yeah, know. they're all the same. But I feel like there's some, maybe some green in there. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> all right, so show me the one with all of them. And I'll just try to... Yeah. AB, you really think you have light-colored eyes? I don't have light... I mean, they're, they're dark green. Dark Mixed green, green, he says. They're dark hazel. <laughs> Who told you that? Your mom? <laughs> Everyone I've ever known. So then I think based we do on what. close up of AB? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Give, yeah. Show me, give me that. I insist. But it would be the middle one in that we case. We need a right? close up of everybody, honestly. Or the bottom the bottom right. Maybe. This. Zeroing in on AB's eyes. He says he has deep green eyes. I can't. Deep green eyes. Yeah. Bring yeah. come closer. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're hazel, probably. <laughs> yeah. I think that's true hazel, maybe. True hazel. Okay, back it up, back it up. <laughs> so then let's look at the options here. <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean it could be this one's looking pretty bright. Yeah. You know? Yeah. There's another one that's this more green. One. This one's bright. Dude, there's no shot that I'm gonna be able to tell. This one, even this one could be mine because it's so it's kind of yeah, dark. I think yours is like a really light brown, which might be this one. The pupil below that one. Doesn't so do this brown. one to me. That's interesting. That one's fucked up. Who has that fucked up one? It looks like a dinosaur's back. <laughs> um, I'm gonna. I know that this probably has no relation to the quality of your eyesight, but uh, Cam wears glasses. You think? Oh, okay. Let's give it to Cam. Oh. Conspiracy. Perhaps this is some glasses. Your eyes are fucking weird. Button that. <laughs> That's fine. I'm fine with it. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I think. <laughs> well, what do we think about that theory? Is there something? Yeah, I'll give that? it to Cam. I mean, I, just for the sake of okay, it. Okay. My keep... theory would be that the less round it is, the worse eyesight. You see the one on the right here? It's oh. not very round. Right? True. That's, that is that, an oddly uh, yeah. shaped pupil. You know what I mean? And yeah. Ethan has perfect mm. eyesight. Because that is not round that at all. It could just be an error in the editing, too. Hmm. Mm. Uh, I it's a composite. So. They, yeah, that is mm. true. It could I don't just be think a composite. So. It's they... a composite of, like, both eyes. I feel like. huh. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry, they did one eye. No, it's one just eye. different uh, focal lengths. Yeah, it so could like totally just lens. be a composite thing. I don't I don't know, though, because they showed us yeah. other eyes that had, like, weird... Um, Whatever that part of the eye is. The iris, yeah, I think. The iris. Mm. Does iris <laughs> roundness mean anything? <gasps> <laughs> he showed us a. Oh, I'm gonna drop a photo. Close up. Uh, it says there is no difference in average pupil roundness between those with and without perfect vision. Mm. Oh, okay. So no impact. No impact. Check out what I just dropped. He, 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 took, uh, he showed me some close ups of people with this kind of. Whoa. Yeah. Ew. I mean, sorry, not you. It just wow. It just <laughs> really threw me off. <laughs> that what the fuck? It's a little shocking. I mean, I've never wow. seen anybody with this eye before. Yeah, it was cool to see. Just shocked the hell out of me. Yeah. Wow. Is that their is vision creepy. fine? Yeah. I wonder. It's a little creepy. Oh. Yeah. 
It's a little <laughs> creepy, <laughs> but why, <laughs> you why EU is your like, like, first just reaction? Scared. It's unsettling. Yeah. <laughs> it scared me. It's like giving me Lucifer, like Antichrist. I think it's cool. <laughs> I want that eye. Get the surgery. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, so if we're saying the, uh, right, we got to, you know what? Like, that's just the review. Yeah, let's do it fast and dirty. So small iris. Here, this here, one. Go to the, uh, the very end of the gallery. Scroll okay. Down. End of the gallery. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Here we go. This is actually helpful. Mm. So, so I, me and Zach are probably have the darkest. Now, these are the darkest in my opinion. So let's give this one to Zach correctly, and then this one is going to be my eye. Uh, okay, let me- The one with, like, the rings on the outside. There's, like... Uh, this one? Yes, that's it. This is it? Yeah. Okay. And then AB is gonna be the light one. There's two light ones. There's this one. I mean, these three are really similar. Mm -hmm. But I would say this one is probably the lightest. Mm -hmm. So let's give this one to AB. Okay, it's this one, right? It's very hard to tell between yeah, the two screens. Yeah, it's that one. Pretty sure it's that one. Okay. Yeah, and then and then who's left? Lena and there's Olivia. Lena. There's Olivia. Um, oh, and that's it. And that's Ian. Only. Oh, and Ian. Well, right. There are three. Oh, there's Ian too. Yeah. Let me. Oh shit. Okay, I'm just gonna give it up. Um, which ones are available? Fuck. This so one. Just, I just this just, one and this one. Ian, are your eyes dark or light? Um, I don't know. They're medium brown. Yeah, I would say. Thing. They're not like super dark brown. Just assign them. I can't yeah. do this anymore. There you go. <laughs> do the focus. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Look, look at that. Oh, what a shot. All right. Give Ian uh, this one, I guess. Uh, which one? This one, I guess. Oops. So yeah. that's uh, this one. Okay, got it. Give Lena this one. Okay, so this is Ian, this is Lena, and we're saying this is Olivia. Thank you. Okay, we got it. <laughs> Thank you. So um, I have a, uh, a guide over here for the reveal. Would you like me to rattle off who, which ones we got right? Absolutely, yes, please. Okay, so for Ethan, this eye that was assigned to Ethan is Olivia's. Mm. Oh, Olivia's eye. <laughs> okay. You have a dark brown eye, Olivia. Let, let me do this. Who has the darkest brown eye that we thought was Zach? Uh, so Zach's belongs to Zach. We got it right. Oh, oh my God. Wow. Nice. Wow. So both of the dark ones are, are <laughs> excluded. The two darkest ones are excluded. Well, which, so do you want to know who? <laughs> we're having this a is Olivia, hazel. so who's this? We're, we're having a hazel epiphany here. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> Yo, the, the, I think I might actually have hazels. The I, guy <laughs> said I had a little bit of a uh, honey in my. That's mind. what I said about Ethan. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. Well, I wish I could I could co-sign that, but clearly yours are darker than mine, and uh, <laughs> I can't quite say honey. Well, that that little <laughs> rim on the outside of the anus. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, this area. That like she, he called that like honey. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he's being nice. <laughs> my mom still loves my eyes, okay? Right. Of course she does. I mean, of right. course she does. All right, so then uh, let's do the brown. I feel like we got the blue ones right. I feel like every one of those is okay. right. Okay. Especially the freckled ones. Let's you want to do this? With the blues, then. We have this one over here that we assigned to love. And this does indeed belong to love. Oh, yeah. Yay! Wow. I'm so blue. So you had the most. That's the one on the bottom right, right? Yeah. So you had the most blue eyes, but I, I mean, I guess that adds up. I am yeah. Swedish. Swedish. After old. Yeah. <laughs> it's very right. clean blue. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if I should thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so then the other, the other blue so one. So this blue one was assigned to me, and this one is indeed my eye. So we got the that blues one right are too. Easy, yeah, easy. Easier yeah. to tell. And moving along, the one that you picked for Sam, we were judging based off of the freckle. And that was a good guess because that is Sam's, which only leaves one for Ela. And yes, this is indeed Ela's eye. You have beautiful, uh, really Very cool. gorgeous, radiant eyes. Mm. Radiant, I would call them. Radiant, radiant. life and color Very, and warmth. Very pretty. Like a star. Thank you. 
Now let's see uh, all these ones that look almost the same. If we got any of these right, so let's start. Let's do from like darkest to lightest. So we did the 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 bottom right one maybe, or the middle one. The middle one's a dark one. Who's which is middle? Which is darker, the middle one or the bottom right one? I can't tell. The what difference. is happening? I can't tell. The difference. Bottom right. We did these two. Okay. So whose is this one? This is the. See, I don't even know how to like. Okay, is that? The one we have assigned to Lena? I can't. I can't. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, we had it assigned to Lena, and according to this chart, it is Lena. Whoa! Oh, okay. <laughs> Beautiful what? hazel eyes, Lena. Thank you. Also, I wear glasses, so that theory mm. kind of works oh. in this case, too. Interesting. Your pupils are fucking crazy, girl. <laughs> no, I'm huh. kidding. I, I genuinely believe that it probably... Well, didn't we just read it doesn't mean anything? Yeah. Mm. But it's probably... They're lying. I, I feel like your lying. iris is probably circular. It yeah, I have a theory. It's whoever was moving during the photo. Right. Oh, yeah. yeah. This is a composite. Oh, yeah. So maybe the people with bigger eyes moved more. Mm. More sensitive, maybe. Well, the iris would definitely be different sizes. That makes sense to me. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. All right, so that's Lena. So then this is the next darkest one in the middle. This is the one with, like, the real kind of busted out. I feel like this one's mine, and I'll tell you why. Zach has the same pattern, and we're both like so Ashkenazi Jew. This might be a Jewish eye. <laughs> Shalom, brother. Because we have the same pattern. You see it? Those aren't those aren't peoples. Those are bagels, my dude. <laughs> they are bagels. Long live. So this is Zach's. So whose is this in the middle? So that one is currently assigned to Olivia, right? Yes. So that's yeah. the one we're Looks looking like at right it. here. Yeah. yeah. So this one that we had assigned to Olivia, and we know it's not hers because this is Olivia's right here belongs to Ethan. Uh, oh my okay. god! You're right. There's a, there's a Jewish you got, eye. You got the Jewish <laughs> eye. Alone, dude. You got a case of the Jew eye. Your so we're actually, like we've done bagels. pretty well. We've done most of oh, it right. Oh, fuck. We just gave the Nazis another way. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Not the Jew eye. Uh, Wait, dude. Hold the phone, Nazi. though. Everyone, I think I need to do a hazel eye uh, lap here. Dan, I think you got, you have some, you got something to say about this? Oh, uh, that of your eye being hazel? Yes. Um, out of all of the ones that, you know, are in the brown range, that is not the one that I would call hazel. Come on, bro. <laughs> it's light. <laughs> the one that I would call hazel out of the these hater. is that top row, second from the right. This? Yeah. This prehistoric <laughs> ass looking shit? Yeah. Because <laughs> that look, there's like eye. elements of green, yellow, like that. that's a hazel eye to me. So somebody has a hazel eye, but Let me or take the a one look. left of Ethan. Now, yeah, this one is pretty wild. This one was this one, right, yeah. This one, that yeah. one is probably yeah. the second closest to hazel. But look how much blue I have to you guys. This is real interesting <laughs> to see now that we know. If you zoom in, I mean, look at all the spe <laughs> the blue here. That's probably I, there's some specs. There's yeah, definitely right. specs. Ew. Licks. Yeah, Licks. Right. Tastes. <laughs> little tastes. Okay, so who has this dark? This I guess this. Uh, the ground hazel. Well, a which one's A B's? Because he had. I guess we can all agree that he has green and green. Uh, so this is the one that we had assigned to A B, and apparently that is actually incorrect. Okay. That is Ian's eye right there. Beautiful, Ian. Oh. Gorgeous. Thank you. <laughs> you should tell <laughs> tell Sam that. Why <laughs> Sam yeah, trashing so you? Insulted. He's so mad because I said, ooh, doo-doo eyes when we were at the thing. That's how she, like... You have beautiful eyes. Introduced me to the guy at the photography. She went, here's doo-doo eyes. I didn't know. <laughs> well, Sam, now's your chance to take it all back. I take it all back. Aww. I was just making a little funny. Mm, you have you. beautiful eyes. It's more like doo doo pee pee eyes. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Doo doo pee pee eyes. <laughs> pee pee yeah. and doo doo eyes. <laughs> um, so since this is Ian... The one that we had assigned to Ian is not Ian. Mm -hmm. This one right here. That's AB, I feel like. Yeah. You think that's AB? Mm -hmm. or, well, I, you're right. Oh. Uh, so then, wait, the other one that's left. Oh, that's everybody. Um, no, the last no. one is Cam's. Well, yeah. I, it is everybody. Wait, and Cam, so you do have the we got Cam's right. right. Which Yo. I guess would mean that I think Cam is the Hazel King of this office, dude. Oh. Wow. Look at that, dude. No, no, no. Listen to this. This no, is the case no, of the no. ugly duckling, dude. I, I don't <laughs> see a swan. I grew up to be the Hazel Eye. Hold go. on, hold on, hold on. I don't I think Dan is exaggerating the hazelness. No offense, but 
The thing is, is that Hazel, I think e Hazel or, is like an emergent. I beef the Hazel King. It's not an actual color. It's the mix of colors. Well, let me see your eyes. Let me see. Medium. Cam, come Can bring your eyes. Close up on Cam. <laughs> bring your eyes. Cam. Can somebody Cam. focus my camera on here? Yeah. Sec. yeah I'm okay. advocating for AB. Can you pull up? Pull up and myself, myself included. <laughs> I also got the opinion of the photography guy. He did have a. Oh yeah. Some guy. So what did he can say? We, yeah. Can we hear that? So here, let's see Cam's real quick and so All Cam, right. this is uh, it's not a good shot. That's his little <laughs> rant. That's this not is, a good shot. Right? We need to focus. Whoa! What Wait, happened? dude, no, do it from the top, <laughs> Cam. Do it from the top. <laughs> That's not helping, Cam. Why is it becoming? Cameron, spooky? stop! What the hell? <laughs> it was like Pennywise. What's going Cameron, on? Cameron, put let go your eye, man. <laughs> oh, no! What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Cam, <laughs> all right, we'll never get out. We'll, we'll never, never get that. So what did the what did the guy say, Ian? Uh, oh, they got wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Oh, <laughs> this is great stuff. All right. Really <laughs> Hold on. He's so right. Thank you, Cam. <laughs> so what did the guy say? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. We're good. Thank okay, you. So he said that if you were to select three eyes. He, that, he said there were three eyes that were the closest to Hazel. Oh, shit. Yeah. He said Cam's. So Cam. Cam. That's Cam's. Boom. Okay. He said AB's. Mm. The one on the left, second row. Yeah. And then mine on the right. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, shit. okay. But hold on. Let's parse what he said a little bit. <laughs> Let's parse what he said a little bit. <laughs> what he said is this. Closest to said. Hazel Eye. Just take the L, brother. <laughs> just take the L. I'm just trying to figure out who's got the Hazel Eyes. Did he mention who had blue Hazels? Because I feel like all three, me, what? Sam, and Hila, have blue Hazel elements to mm -hmm. our eyes. He did say everyone in the room had Hazel. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you. That's what you Thanks, Mom. <laughs> Come join mm -hmm. the Brown Eye family. <laughs> Just, just take it, accept it. I mean, if I if I was an alien from space and didn't know anything, just looking at these image, I would look at this one in the middle and say that one is the most unique, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> it's because you see the rings and all the brown ones; they all have rings. Even Zach's uh -huh. has a ring. Mine is clean, ringless, mm. pure. Hmm. Gotcha. Superior. Kind of splotchy is probably the word that I would come to. No, this is a clean <laughs> kind of prismatic. Well, uh, I mean, and all those. Brown where's the rings on the bottom so he, and he outer? He explained that the rings were when your eye is growing. If your eye grows a little too fast, huh. uh, the color doesn't fill in fast oh. enough, and it causes mm. those rings. Mm. So you okay, nice, slow, beautiful, eye beautiful. Oh, that makes sense. When, when I was younger, my eyes were blue, and that's if you could see the ring around mine has a blue has a blue ring around it. That's how I was able to recognize you. Huh. Very good. That's I want to say, too, the lady that photographed me said I had eyes like flowers. So wow. wow. You guys are all bully in my eye, but I got flowers. Your eyes are beautiful, That's Cam. true. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous. She didn't say anything to me. Me yeah, She didn't really comment didn't on say mine. That's interesting. So, hmm. where's my compliment? Well, there you go. There it is, everybody. Well, it's settled. That was fun. Cam, Ian... And who is the last one? AB. Mm -hmm. Our hazel eyed kings. Closest to hazel is his exact <laughs> word. Oh, closest to hazel. Yeah. I got hazel eyes, dog. He said closest to hazel, just to be totally um, accurate with our, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, for legal um, purposes. I got the least hazel eyes, dude. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. True you don't hazel. Have, like, any Fuck. hazel element at all. Fuck, dude. I'm fucking loser. Here's a true hazel eye close up. According to Google, this is true hazel. True hazel. That's a. Yeah, that's you my see eye. how it's like a big mix? Like I said, that's. Yeah. I think Cam is. The hold one on, that's close. Uh, hold on. Let me find a true hazel. Hold on. Oh yeah, it's right there. Third, third one of <laughs> right the. Right there top. on screen. Just look at it. Third, third, third on the top. Just looking at it this whole time. <laughs> Take a bow, King. Here is yeah. some true. Hold on. Don't show it yet, Ian. Okay. <laughs> if I could pick out one true hazel, it'd be these. Look at these. <laughs> Beautiful. Wow. Go gorgeous <laughs> colors, shimmer. That's not yeah. what the expert said, though. It's just Ethan Klein in the URL. It's kind of Oh, weird. fuck. Shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. All right. Thank you. Gabe, my boy. Let me read your hat. <laughs> Who the fuck the is fuck Uncle is Gabe? Uncle Who is he? Who is he? <laughs> All right. That's right. 
If somebody asked you that and you were forced to answer it, Gabe, what would you tell them? Someone said, no, seriously, who the fuck is Uncle Gabe? What would you tell them? I'd say, it's me. It's me, bro. Hmm. Good answer. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. me, Uncle Gabe, bro. <laughs> That's what I'll say. Well said. Nice. Well said. What's Uncle Gabe up to today? I'm making mac and cheese for lunch. Oh. Uh, nice. You doing a box thing or are you making it raw? I'm doing like a box thing. Let me take a look. I love the box. Yeah, the boxes hit, they hit good when you're looking for something dirty. Oh, you got that deluxe shit. Okay. Oh. Yeah, deluxe shit, motherfucker. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Drain it on the, um. Nice. Pop. What shape is the pasta? It's like, um, <laughs> it's like shells. Mm. Like oh. purple shells from the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> Shining in the sea. Yeah. <laughs> So let's see. So Absolutely. we, with the noodles are done. We're going to put the yep. noodles back in the pot. Put the pot in and, and then put got, the sauce. Add some, do we add milk or butter or anything no. or just the powder? Just the, just the, it's cream, actually cream. Oh, it's a liquid. Yeah. Mm. Just put it in. Oh, stir, that is deluxe. It. Let's see it. Yep. Okay. Can I show you, can I um, tell you a trick, Gabe? <laughs> what is it? So do you have the lid for that pot? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somewhere. Do you have any lid that might... Basically, the trick is this. You rip it open, and uh -huh. you know, it's hard to get all the sauce mm -hmm. out of that thing. So what you do yeah. is you put... You take the very back of it. Yeah, use that. Use that. So open the pack a little bit. Yeah. Show me. Okay, give me one second. Go ahead. Go ahead. We'll wait. It's all good. <laughs> so you guys at home, this is going to be useful for everybody. Okay. Yeah. In the meantime, Ian just came around and passed out our little trinket. Oh, nice. Little trinkets. Okay. Let's we go. each got memorabilia. That's right. I mm -hmm. jewelry. Okay. Check this shit out. I got that one. Wow. Hold on. Shout out to the freaking cosmic. Oh, I got a little yeah. baggie. Oh, this is yours? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so let me see the bag, Gabe. The bag is. <laughs> Right here, the bag. Perfect. Okay. Nice. So now what I want you to do is bring the lid over to the pot and the bag. Okay? Okay. Now here's what you do. You put, is there a way for us to get a shot of the pot from the phone while you're without yeah. hands? Yeah. So you can, you can leave it there? No, he yeah. has to, No, he has to hold it. He doesn't. I gotta hold the phone. <laughs> okay, so let me show you. You put the back... Line the back of the bag up with the, with the, um, edge of the pot. <laughs> or like, oh, like you're pouring it in, like you're pouring it in. Uh -huh. Okay, now grab the, grab the, uh, except you put it in more, 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 more. Put it in, the back should be on the, the edge. The back should be on the edge? That's the front, I guess. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. okay, so grab the lid. You're going to need both hands. Yeah. So what you do is you, you use the top and you close uh -huh. it on the cheese pack. You pull the cheese pack out and it forces all the liquid into the pot. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, okay. Oh, uh, something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you pull just a corner of it out, mm -hmm. just a tiny little corner of it. <laughs> yeah. You'll probably have to put the, the phone down to do it right, good. Right, right, Okay. That's okay. And then you want to push down pretty firmly with the top. What did yeah. you get? And, um... Just pull it out, and there should it should get everything. Oh, that's it. I think I know what to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like this. Yep. Show me like the bag. This. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, now, yeah, you got it. it now hold. You gotta yeah. hold the lid down. <laughs> yeah. Squeeze it. Now pull it out. <laughs> How we looking? Nice. How we looking? Clean, baby. Oh, yeah. Wow. No sauce wasted, right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Do you think? Do you think that if you make mac and cheese again, you'll use this technique? Hey, maybe it will work. It's maybe. gonna work. <laughs> All right, you know what's fantastic. Good with mac and cheese is we use hot dogs too. You put hot dog bits in there. Oh, oh yeah. for real? We're not having hot dog bits with mac Whoa, and cheese. That's dirty. hot dog bits, baby. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. All right. Thanks, Gabe.
<laughs> Enjoy your Mac. Yeah, have Bye. a great lunch. We love to see you. I hope you have a great weekend. Okay, bud. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. I love you all. You guys are the best. You're Thanks, the Gabby. best, Uncle Gabe. Thanks, Gabby. <laughs> You're the best. The brim on that hat looks massive, but I'm assuming that's just the angle. <laughs> yeah, if you want to get the hat, it's whoisunclegabe.com. So is the, oh. is, the, is the brim super big, or is it just the angle? <laughs> it's the angle. Okay. <laughs> Very good. Thank you, Gabe. Yep. Gabe's on uh, Cameo, guys, if you want mm -hmm. to celebrate something. Can you put this on me? Check this out. We got it. Oh, that's so sick. I got I got a pendant. I think I'm gonna be a bracelet guy from now on. You got a bracelet? It's the, out the outfit. Exactly. Shout out to the freaking Cosmic Eye, my dude. Yeah, shout out to Cosmic Eye, guys. Really nice couple there. We love them. If you're in Hollywood and you need a very close-up photograph taken of your eyeball, <laughs> I don't know a better place. I don't Sam. know a better place to do it. Sam, you're, that was... I don't know. Whoa. Uh, Sam, what's a little off? We're different about you. I don't know. <laughs> Something's just a little bit off, but I can't tell. That's sick. What about this one? Can you tell anything's off? No. No? Just You just look a little different. Not my different. real eye, you fucking idiot. Got him. <laughs> Damn. All right, so the next, um, the next one up is everybody wants to know Cav Cav. And I'll be honest with you guys. This is the one I want. Because I have not watched this video, but I've heard gobs about it. And this fucking guy. So I am super, super duper excited to bring you Cav Cav. And he has been kind of out of the public eye for a long time. Mm -hmm. We haven't heard from Cav Cav. And I was kind of going down memory lane a little bit with AB. Yeah. And just looking at some of the unhinged shit that he said or <laughs> sent me over the years. And it was really terrific. It was. It really was. God bless that man. So much good content has come out of him. Like, he, do you remember he told people on Twitter to report me to the FBI? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we forget. Yep. What, yeah. All that we've been through. Are we still waiting for him to public his podcast? Or is it? He not? has not posted it. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's po failed to post it. That yeah, it's it's a it's several months late already at this point. Mm -hmm. Brian Kavanaugh is a force of nature. On There's four different uh, teasers out right now. If you want to check those <laughs> out, <laughs> I've been so play me one because I haven't really ever got even got a good taste of. So anyway, let me look for it. Maybe let's just focus in on this because this is yeah, a long mm -hmm. video. There's no way I'm gonna be able to watch all of this. So here is uh, the truth about the lawsuit. It's called Love That. Y'all should have used my name if you wanted views. Like, <laughs> That's true. Like, rookie shit. This is unscripted. Um, there is a podcast. I see Ryan, his, you know, Mr. Hollywood's got a big pull in the media sphere. So when, when I first uh, found the video, it, it had 240, video, uh, 240 views, and it was out, I think it said 17 hours. <laughs> Well, you can actually, some of these aren't terrible. Like this one has 16,000, but Ryan Kavanaugh has by far, by far, from what I can tell, the worst performance. And that's even with our subreddit talking right. about it and driving traffic to it and stuff like that. People in our community talking about it. So, like, I want you have to understand just how uncharismatic this man is. And frankly, let me click it. Do you guys, I recognize this guy. Yeah. What show is he from? I watched it. Was it too hot to handle? It was he, something like that. Isn't he the one from the clip where the cockroach flies on his forehead? <gasps> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> hold on, Ch hold on, Chase. What? Real reality. That happens to somebody. Show. Oh yeah. Oh my god. I need you to see that. Wait. No. What's his name? I don't think I can see that. It's in the description. Yeah, I gotta go back. It, this Chase Demore. He's a boxer, though. Chase these nuts? No, I like. I, I have no problem with Chase. Hey, Chase suck these more. balls. It's funny on their social medias. They posted a clip of this podcast. Oh, he's but a football it, player. Ryan Kavanaugh's in it, in the clip. And he was there the whole time. Yeah, so they just edited him out and it's just awesome. had that Monroe guy talk. God, Ryan, <laughs> it's you're so, funny. so boring. You went on this podcast to bitch about me for an hour. Nobody <laughs> cares but me. <laughs> um, I also I have to comment about. <clears throat> Because this is what I look for. The watch he's wearing is huh? the most expensive, overpriced piece of fucking shit you can I wanna buy. I want to see. I want to see that. 
Here's Chase. Oh, he's an athlete. He's a boxer. He's a football player. Okay. And he's an interviewer. So what's this watch? Dude, Let, you're oh so corny, God, bro. I gotta see that watch. What is this watch? <laughs> it appears to be a Richard Mill, um, which I personally, I, they go for millions of dollars. Those watches. Oh God! Um, Why do you have a, a single dollar to your name? I don't want to say it's fake because <laughs> yeah. knowing him, he paid for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, we'll have to do that in post. Can we find I it on Google? The watch. Just want to see the watch. <laughs> that, do you know the specific name of that? It one? looks like an R M. As much as I can do there. Uh, I looks know like he, a Casio to me. He turns his wrist in one of the frames. Uh, and Gabriel Moses. And today I'm very, joined with a very special guest, so I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself. Ryan Cavanaugh. No. <laughs> he doesn't remember his name. That's what happened. We have a very special guest. guest. Um, I'll let him introduce himself. As someone who's doing a podcast Ryan for a Cavanaugh? long time, that motherfucker did not remember his name. I'm very, joined with a very special guest, so I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself. <laughs> Ryan Cavanaugh? <laughs> Ryan, Ryan. There you go, I'm out. He's like, Dude, you suck. Jesus You're Christ. You're like a charisma black hole. I've said that before. <laughs> but you are the, oh the human God. embodiment of, like, nepotism. I mean, there's just the failing upwards that's happened, continue to happen in this man's life. Yeah. There was a new article that came out about Triller, just how like destitute they are. Like they really? owe, allegedly, according to this article I read, it's like they owe tons of money to the music business. They don't have a lot of cash on hand. They have tons of debts. I could read it. If, I could read the headline if you want. Yeah, go ahead. It's from Music Business Worldwide. <laughs> Triller owes music right shares more than twenty-three million. Oh my god! Uh, and then in parentheses it says, which it doesn't have the cash to pay. Parentheses <laughs> ends. Oh, and it's just purged two hundred million. Uh, duplicate accounts from its platform. Oh, Whoa. and it still wants to go IPO. They That's still gonna. The what are they IPOing? An empty fucking lockbox? I mean, what are you selling? <laughs> what? Yeah, he's such a fucking. He's a good businessman, that Ryan Kavka. Anyway, we're gonna take forever to get through this. <laughs> nice guy. Nice there guy. you go. There. Oh shit. Let me go back. There's a clean shot of it here, Zach. Pretty clean shot. From what I've seen, it looks like a RM11 Richard Mill. Here, um, this is a really good, clean shot, right? Yeah. Could you? That thing is yeah. nasty. Yeah, I think that is an RM11. So if you look at this link here. So Zach sent me the link to this watch. Oh, you think so? You yeah. think that's what it is? Yeah. I don't know if that's the exact model. Mm -hmm. 225. But, yeah. I mean, that's absolutely absurd. To pay for that piece of shit, but um, I know there's watches that cost way more than that. The people are into watches; it gets really nuts. Well, those. Do you think that's what that is? That's a Richard Mille, yeah. Just not that specific color, but yeah, probably. Huh. Yeah, like the one um, um, Ed Sheeran wears is a million dollars. Ed Sheeran's actually said. Ugh. Well, first of all, I know you don't like me to say this, Cam, but he is actually successful, unlike somebody else. Who has owns this watch? I find this watch so ugly. I guess like uh, a lot of the Nelk boys have yeah, them. Like it's, it's like a doucher. It's kind of like, oh, I spent a half a million to a million dollars on a watch. He's gonna be pawning that, I'm pretty sure, someday in the near future. And from an investment standpoint, it's a dog shit watch investment. And well he well that stand that's pretty much stands up to all of his other investments, mm -hmm. so might end up being the mo the best investment he's ever made because he didn't lose all the money for it. Yeah. Right, right. Also, it could be good if you're trying to sell a certain image to people. Sure, of course. And yeah, not saying he does swindle anyone, but no, he doesn't swindle. He never. Um, he was accused right by his partner. Ed, the headline of the Variety article said, "Ex partner accused Ryan Kavanaugh of running a Ponzi scheme." However, he did retract that statement. Correct. No, not Variety. Um, oh, oh, oh. His partner. I don't believe Variety. Well, they, they didn't. They didn't retract their story. They just put like a tiny little update at the end of the article. I don't know if that counts as a retraction. I don't know. All right, so. <laughs> Welcome back to the number one podcast in the world. We're your host, Chase Damore. And Gabriel Moses. And today I'm very, joined with a very special guest. So I'm going to let him go ahead and introduce himself. You. Ryan Kavanaugh? <laughs> right. There you go. I'll say this so he I'll say this so um people don't Why think I'm question, defaming Kavanaugh? him. We made his teeth yellow in the thumbnail. That's not a real image. You see, he has beautiful pearly whites here. Look how gorgeous he is. 
He looks great. So you want some fucking teeth? This man has aged gracefully. Ryan Kavanaugh? <laughs> right. Uh, right. There you go. I'm out. He's like a <laughs> nice guy. Nice, the most humble guy in the world. But this guy is literally sure. the definition of a guy that wears many, many hats. Uh, does he, a little bit of everything. Does everything. You know, he's off. Y'all don't know shit about Ryan Kavanaugh. Mm-hmm. From L.A. This is like the most, this is just such pathetic PR nonsense. Yeah. Like whatever people are paying for this, I just it's they're run they're running you, man. They're they're taking you for a ride there, Ryan. Whoever's doing I I don't know if it's the same people paying for comments on your shit allegedly. So uh, he some people call him they says he does a little everything. That would be a jack of all trades. But him, I call him a jackass of all trades. Yo. Crying, got him. crying at home, <laughs> Ryan, tears, <laughs> wham. Did we find out about Panera, Lena? Yep, I ordered it. What did you, you order? Did? Just the, um... Oh, just the drinks? Mm-hmm. Oh. Did you want something else? Kinda. Oh. <laughs> well, it'll be fast, hopefully. Well, yeah, because the reason that the other order took so long when we placed it a couple days ago was because of the size of the order. I still don't buy that. It's a sandwich. They, you know what I mean? That's like bread, fucking meat, mm-hmm. cheese. Bada bing, bada boom. You think I can still order something? From Panera? Yeah. I think you, if as long as it's not like a huge order, it'll go through and won't take too long. Okay. Um, let's see. Yeah, so go ahead. If he's in what Utah to, to Colorado, Colorado, <laughs> uh, really awesome, genuine guy. But uh, you know, I want to kind of come in here and pick his brand a little bit, uh, Ryan. I just want to intro. That's a horrible intro. Like he didn't say anything about him because he didn't know anything about him. Why would he? So start this by saying like, what is it that uh, you, bro? That was. I mean, he's a he's a big time Hollywood producer. He is a co owner of Triller. I mean. These are, and again, these are all basically listing his failures, but at least give me some idea of what's going on here, but it's a disaster. Specifically do in LA for work. Oh, what do you do for work? What do you do? He <laughs> doesn't know you, bro. Ryan is like, what's work? What would you say you do around here? <laughs> Uh, first and foremost, I'm a dad. That's like my first. Job. Oh, okay, shot. Okay, off. first of all, right bitch off. ass. We the real world out here. We need to work for our money. So get shot to the fucking off. point. Yeah, lots of people are parents, dummy. And I bet lots of people <laughs> wish that they didn't have to work and so they could spend all day with their kids. So get to the asshole. fucking point, asshole, classist, idiot, dumbass. Such a classist. He hates poor people, and you can tell. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's why he didn't pay his nanny. <laughs> That's right. Well, allegedly. Allegedly. She alleged she alleged that, that yeah. she wasn't paid. She alleged that she wasn't paid. The truth of the matter, who knows? It's I up don't to the know. Courts. It's up to the courts to decide that. The truth is that he was doing all the work. He was there with the kids. Because he's such a great dad. It's his full time job. Yeah. You're a full time douche. All right, go ahead, Ryan. Oh, look at that. Like, sentimental moments, guys. <laughs> no, it, 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 once you have kids, I, for me, it all changes. Like, that's job one. Uh-huh. I have an eight-year-old, three-year-old, like, taking uh-huh. care of them. Uh, I do love my kids, and I, and I applaud that. I think I love, I love good parents, and he seems like a good parent. I'm going to give it up to him, I think, okay. from what I can tell. Well, that's if you don't believe what his ex said. Right. <laughs> right. Inappropriate just relationship throw a wrench with in a that. 14-year-old Natalie Portman. Because his ex said that he, like, Abused them, didn't she? Mm-hmm. I don't know what you're talking about. No, his ex girlfriend sued him recently. I'm serious. Okay. Fact check that. Alleged. I mean, I'll take it back maybe immediately. The fact but... check should happen before. You... No, no, no. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> abused who? Her? Her? Her kids? I've never heard of this. Before. I never heard of. No, 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 no. <laughs> Go pull it up, baby. <laughs> We've read it on the show. Well, we've read a lot about his him, ex is suing him. Yeah, I, I know what Ethan's talking about. Yeah, I just don't yeah. remember the details, but I'm looking right now. Yeah. Well, if you know, <laughs> let's get this right. Clearly, accuracy is important here on the H3 podcast, and we want to make sure that everything we say is uh, clean. I also want to just rewind. I, want, I appreciate your office space joke. I didn't get a chance. Thank to you, buddy. Yeah, that, was, that was funny. Appreciate <laughs> you saying that. All um, right. Yeah. Um, it's, we looked at a specific article 
Yeah, it's, she was identified as Jane Doe. I'm, I'm reading through it right now. Yeah. Let's see. What article was that? We'll look into that. We'll look into that. Yeah. These oh. balls. Do you want anything else from Panera while I place this new order? I don't want any. Or, you know what? No, I don't want anything. I'm good. I had that burrito. Okay. <sighs> All right. How do you not remember that? I don't. Nobody I, remembers. That? I remember it. I'm no. sure. I'm sure. I don't remember ever talking uh, about that on the show. Mm. We did. Yeah. Oh. Uh, blah, blah, blah. According to Kavanaugh, with the refusal met their immediate demand for a half a million dollar payment, the nature of threats took a concerning turn. And then uh, at the end, it said, basically, if you didn't give it to the extortion, they even reached as low as. Uh, coinciding child endangerment. Claims. Exact. That's it. Child endangerment. She had said about him. So I guess thank you, Ab. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know what's the status on that case if it's been resolved or if it's been. Uh, um, maybe she's retracted it. I don't know. I just remember that she said it. And so my point is that um, is basically that um, I was saying he's a good parent, but I had to. Ca I caught myself a little bit because. You know, because we don't know. We don't know. Well, there are conflicting reports about that. All right, go ahead, Ryan. Um, but I do a little bit of everything. So film was kind of, I'll say, after I cut, cut my teeth in finance, but then film. And then I kind of left film and went into tech, biotech, uh, pharmaceutical, aviation. Shut um, up. <laughs> and then uh, what else? I have a dog food company. Um, what? And what else? I. Uh, <laughs> Um, is that I do, I mean, I do a lot of firefighting? Yeah, I inv exactly. I invite to what the fuck, bro? Just give me a break. I'm a Media. firefighter. And then I'm also I'm an astronaut and a Navy SEAL. This is always and, how you um, know some people are bullshit is when they list like a million things that but, they yeah. do. Yeah, but his first job is being a parent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, right. fine. Here's here's the um. Here's the complaint. This is a, this is in the actual complaint. Thank you. What well, began with insu uh, insinuations of sexual harassment, and then moved to false allegations of drug use, and finally stooped to the lowest point imaginable, suggesting they would make false claims involving child endangerment. Something they knew would hit me the hardest, as it involved my children, the most important part of my life. So, according to Ryan himself, that's his statement, right? Mm -hmm. Ryan, in his own statement, says he was accused of child endangerment, which he denies clearly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know everything about his life. I just know that he's ugly. Can you Because that's a what helicopter? visibly I can see. That, I shouldn't say that. He's a beautiful soul. Yeah. But he's an ugly Everybody's soul, beautiful, beautiful man. Uh, right. Everybody. Everyone but Ryan. Let's be Thank real. Thank you. Yeah. For, for. I mean, that man is. Is it Thank legal, you. you think, to drive or pilot a helicopter um, just thrash drunk? Definitely, there's that is a no go. <laughs> Flying so? with alcohol is a big no no. I wonder. Hmm. Mm, how does drunk. he do that? He has DUIs. Yeah, I'm just wondering how he flies a helicopter. Or no, sorry, they got Where, they got they got. It's a wet and reckless. Yeah. Do, do, do you think because he last I heard he wasn't allowed to have a license? Yeah, at some point I know he didn't have a license, and also just he just seems like a like a lush. He drinks a lot. He drinks all the time. It seems like it. Yeah. Because he's, yeah, it seems like it. I mean. Yeah, it's all assumptions. We don't know him. Yeah, I don't know him. But. <laughs> God, we, dude, we're, not, we are a fucking nightmare for this. <laughs> like, we, I know, I can't even get through watching this without, <laughs> like, because it's just second nature. Like, I know everything about him. <laughs> I know so much about you, Ryan. Too much wine, sorry. Making movies now again. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, kind of that a, is so many different things. That's crazy. What's been your favorite true. of all of those? <laughs> true though? girl. I love actually they're all. No, I, I'm I'm going to do my best not to goof on the host. They have done nothing. Yeah, wrong. they have nothing to do with. They don't even know who he is. So like, <laughs> right. The fact that they're interviewing Harvey Weinstein, they don't know. I mean, sorry, Ryan Kavanaugh. Sorry, 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 sorry. My bad, Ryan Kavanaugh. Kind of my, it's like saying well, who's your favorite child. It's yeah. like you know, I mean, I, I know the one. It's not like that. It's Josh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, it's not at all. You just <laughs> you <could> definitely <laughs> easily have a favorite. You know why? Because he doesn't actually do anything. So right. It's like oh, I can't pick because mm. it's all super easy. Yeah, it's all for yeah. me. I don't really yeah. do anything. Right. So. I I all know the ones I don't like actually, but the one you know, just like your kids, they all have <laughs> their own exciting moments, and mm -hmm. that's part of why I like to do so many different things. Is it, I really get to experience so many elements of, of, of the world doing it. So wow. people in tech are very different than people in film are very different than, um, 
than uh, you know people, people dog and food. <laughs> dog food or social. I'm in social media as well. Um, he's just so interesting. He's in social media, not for long. <laughs> yeah. I remember when he wanted to come on our podcast too. He did when this shit all started happening. He wanted to come on to talk it or not talk it out even. I forget what was his motivation. I think it was to have this interview. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna have to speed it up, Ryan. You're so fucking boring, and I want to watch this. Oh, we. This is his food company. Yeah. I didn't know that. Dog for dog. Is what? it like a charity thing or something cool? That's good. It's like Tom's the shoe line where it's like you buy a pair they and they donate give a, a pair. pair it's you buy a bag they donate a bag we were founded in 2010 for dog lovers who want to help rescue animals in need dog for dog is a purpose-driven shop and give back online store where every purchase feeds a shelter dog that's great i love that terrific we love it love animals and uh, biotech is a whole other field. A lot of very, very, very smart people. Um, you know. What did you do in biotech? So uh, I do a lot right now in biotech. So the first big biotech um, mm. was, uh, mm. I don't want to call it, maybe I wasn't so much a founder, <laughs> but early on involved in a company called Calhoun that's um, now called SiteRx. Um, and it's a, a, a basically a polymer they put into a lens. So when you do a cataract surgery, people don't need glasses. And it's a, one public, it's like a $2 billion public company now. That was my first kind of biotech. It was my dad and I together. And then I was a seed oh. investor. Oh. In a, what? Oh. what was that? What a coincidence. <laughs> oh, really? His dad has entered the story. His dad. Okay, what it's a... too it's too fat. I get you, guys, you guys go 50-50 on that? Or, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically a polymer they put into a lens. So when you do a cataract surgery, people don't need glasses. And it's a uh, Bro, he public. is so bored. Look at Chase. Hold on. <laughs> a company called Calhoun that's um, now called Site RX. Um, and it's a Look at this. <laughs> uh, basically a polymer they put into a lens. So when you do a cataract surgery, people don't need glasses. And it's Boring. Uh, one public, it's like a $2 billion public company now. That was my first uh -huh. kind of biotech. It was my dad and I together. And then I was a seed investor in a company. Well, bro, um, sorry to say Zadarx, Zadarx, which was originally called Calhoun. Zadarx so Ryan's was, credit, I guess. But like he rattled off a bunch of things that he's been involved in. And they're like, what did you do in biotech? That's like the least. In he's like, I flew helicopters. I made movies. Oh, yeah, what you do in biotech? <laughs> Let's talk about that. And I was a seed invest, $2 billion public company now. That was my first kind of biotech. It was my dad and I together. It was founded by his dad. Seems like. Straight out of college, me and my dad invested $100 million. <laughs> <laughs> joint, it was a joint venture, of course. And then I was a seed investor in a company... Um, sorry to say Zadarx, Zadarx, which was originally called Calhoun. Zadarx was his... So does he, he have a bunch of money from a... It sounds like he, they sold that company? It went IPO... I think. Because, like, when I looked up his value, I've never seen mention of biotech. Uh, all I see is um, his production. Well, I think he was just saying they sold it, so. Oh, here you go. Oh, my goodness. So he, okay. Because I've, I've often wondered, is this guy rich or, or not? Because, like, Brian Kavanaugh lands 150 million stock windfall thanks to biotech. Wow. His family foundation investment arm profited from a small seed investment made in 2008 in a pharmaceutical company whose parent just went public. Wow. Okay. So he's definitely stacked despite being an utter failure in every other walk of his life. Yep. It's good stuff. His family foundation and investment arm. Mm hmm. Yep. <laughs> okay. So he's rich. God, I've been wondering that. So that's probably not good for me. <laughs> I mean, that that was what eight years ago. You know, I mean, he's making big deals. I'm sure. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he's not using his own money to invest in shit. I'm sure of it. You know, I read that Triller raised like four hundred million dollars, and it's all gone. <laughs> wow. Whoa. I mean, it's not cheap to that run a, to run yeah. an app like that. No, it's, it's very know. expensive. I, that's where what I wonder how the Video fuck is it still online. Like found it and I was a seed investor in 2010 later renamed Juno that was the largest it's a all right, but anyway let's get to where he talks about me because we'll be here all day I mean shit we're only yeah. three minutes through this motherfucker <laughs> um let's see I have timestamps. the male host here the host is choking back a yawn say we're gonna go sue right people who me. you know a lot not people who pirate it but people who you know, offered it, pirated, and made money off of it. Oh, well, we gave people a hiatus. We're like, listen, we're going to say, you know, offered it, pirated. 
you know, <laughs> a lot, awesome. not people who pirated, but people That's who, you know, offered it pirated and then made money off of it. Mm -hmm. But we gave people a hiatus. We're like, listen, we're going to stop free actors, but if you pay the fee, even if you don't just pay the 59 bucks, and, oh, or 49, sorry, God, and we won't go after you. That is so, so we this guy sued, fucking I don't know, reeks of booze. people. This guy absolutely, <laughs> man, did you didn't drive here, did you? <laughs> <laughs> oh god so okay he's setting it up the, the stuff. we won against like five i want <laughs> where i want to actually hear when what's the question um oh okay <laughs> nice. these motherfucker have ads i said that these dudes have ads unscripted 700, 700 views. views they have ads and i don't <laughs> Thing. It's led to my next venture, oh. um, but okay. It, it, like I, I think I told you guys, I have this podcast called Failure. It was mm -hmm. a failure. No, in you that. don't. You, Where dude, is it? You don't have a podcast. <laughs> you don't have mean? a podcast. You have clips of previews of it. <laughs> a big failure in that that led me to like this revelation that now I'm launching that will end piracy on pay per view. <laughs> what? What the hell? He is so mad. Now he's ending piracy. Oh my god. Taking on piracy. Um, really? But it started by suing me. Uh huh. <laughs> my yeah. unlisted video with 60 views. Yeah. We're ending piracy, people. Yeah. <laughs> it was. So the Tyson fight, I think, probably would have set all records had we not had piracy. We mm. sold a 1.6 million. Bro, every event has piracy. So you would not have. Every event has piracy. If every event didn't have privacy, you wouldn't break that record. Do you understand the logic of that? <laughs> you right. can't just say that shit. Or, I mean, you can. And you do. Obviously, if that's true, you would, you know, uh, not be going bankrupt. When's the last time you saw a Triller Flight Fight Club promo? I let me just listen. I can't. I can't even hold, control myself with this dude. <laughs> All right, go on. In pay per views, um, the Jake Paul fight. Sold a lot, but we saw, I think, we counted down 10 million paid streams. That's almost charging like a million, uh, sorry, a dollar to two dollars or more, like more, but minimum dollar for streams. And we, so the thing about the happened is Triller, which owned it, owns Fight Club, decided to do what the UFC had done and basically say, we're going to go sue people who, you know, allow, not people who pirated, but people who, you know, offered it, pirated and Holy made money fuck. off of it. All right, hold on, hold that thought, Ryan. Oh, shit, I got him. Oh, that was quick. So we actually got it. Are these wow. two different flavors? Wait, this is a lot of liquid. You have to be kind of psycho All to kick two flavors. of these. This is a yeah. monster drink. So that's what happened. This is somebody, the deadly. Uh, somebody drank two of them? The first person kicked back two full ones. Wow. And they were caffeine sensitive. So, I mean, <laughs> that's pretty intense. Yeah. I'll do it. This is huge. I don't I think I'm fi finished one, even trying. That kind of changes it. If it's that much liquid and that caffeine, it's not mm -hmm. that bad. It's not that. Like, how many? Similar to oh, man. Point. Get this from yesterday. Third lawsuit against Panera claims <gasps> caffeinated charged lemonade caused permanent cardiac injuries. Jeez. Oh, my okay. God. You know what? I read about that one. I think people are just. They're cashing in. Yeah. I think so. Like, read the details. It was some silly stuff. Um, uh, you got to be number four, dude. He's right behind you. Daddy's Brian. getting paid. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, after the 28 year old, after drinking the lemonade, she experienced brain fog, you don't, you don't like brain shakes, fog, brain fog, body <laughs> shakes, heart palpitations, shortness of breath, and difficulty thinking. She claimed she had no underlying medical conditions before consuming the beverage. That's like the all the most non specific, yeah. could be anything shit ever. Yeah, I feel like I have that done on a daily, brother. <laughs> you know who's representing? It sounds it. like you're high. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, do you blaze? <laughs> I'm suing weed. <laughs> This is this is insane. Like this this is insane. Yeah. So does it taste gross? The first sip was kind of jarring because it's very it doesn't have sugar in it. Oh. It's artificial sweetened, but once you get used to it, it's it's okay. Only the orange one doesn't have sugar. Oh, yeah, this one is full sugar. Mm -hmm. All right, let me the try blood this one. That's the sugar real free. shit, dude. That's the real. That one, on the other hand, is good, but it's too sweet. It's good though. And Mix them together. The blood orange has slightly <laughs> less caffeine than the other. Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Um, the blood orange is between 124 and 210 milligrams. The that's strawberry. A big variance. <laughs> oh, well, no, that's just for um, the blood orange only. And then the for the strawberry, it's between 157 and 236. 
236 is pretty That's good. like a fucking Decent amount. 50% swing. It's I feel like they size. Have, yeah, they have no fucking clue what they're doing. Oh, is it there. just sizes? Oh, random. yeah, that's, that's probably guessing. the different sizes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Yeah. What size is I will is chug, this? chug, chug, Don't chug, 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 <laughs> chug, <laughs> chug, 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 chug. Ryan's watching at home. Please die. Please die. Please die. Hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. But we gave people a hiatus. We're like, listen, we're going to bring actions. But if you pay the fee, even if you don't just pay the 59 bucks and or 49, sorry, and we won't go after you. And so we sued, I don't know, eight people. We won against like five. And one of the guys, I'd never heard his name before. His name was mm -hmm. Ethan Klein. Mm -hmm. And this fucking guy. This fucking guy. Yo, watch this how, fucking, you, fu this fucking watch how you fucking talk about me, Buster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Buster. Well, some respect on my yeah, damn Buster. Name. You like the name? I do. <laughs> it's a Buster. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, I didn't even know who it was. He decides that somehow Triller is me, even though it's a big company that's going public and worth billions but of dollars. You were big in Triller, though. Bro, it's not. It's going public and worth billions of dollars, Ryan just said. Can I just uh, clarify something we said <sighs> earlier? Um, Triller raised, I'm seeing different numbers between 300 million to 400 million. Yeah. Um, and it says, this article says from Dot .LA so that they lost 700 million in the last year. So, so where'd the other 300 <laughs> come from? They lost 700 million in one fucking year? How do you Bro, that's do like that? military level. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, man. Oh, so this is from 2022. So that was 2021 is referring to. Oh, okay. God, that was when they were like expanding really rapidly. Mm. Yeah. I'm I'm right. genuinely they excited. They were gonna be the next TikTok mm -hmm. for his IPO. Like I am genuinely can't wait to see how that does. I wonder if it's even gonna happen. They like, say, well, can I short it? I don't know how to do that. Yeah, but I, they're, yeah, they're definitely going under business. Can, yeah. I'll yeah. short the fuck out of that. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I know you just <laughs> bet that they're gonna that it, they'll go under that their stock price will drop. Mm -hmm. uh, essentially, it's that. Yeah, I don't know. I still confused by yeah. how that shit works. You buy them back later or something. I don't know. <sighs> All right, Ryan, go ahead. Yeah, I was a co-founder, but uh, yeah. okay. but I wasn't like he goes, out there. He goes. He was treating it like it was me, and then before that, he goes. So what we did is we went after <laughs> like talking about their specific yeah. legal strategy, and so this has been an ongoing thing with him during this whole saga of the lawsuit. Of him like constantly trying to like distance himself from Triller. What what is your interpretation of that? Because he's like definitely involved in Triller. From what I understand, he was removed. He was removed by the he was board. Removed. So he, from what I understand, if I understand it correctly, uh -huh. is that he's still the majority. He's not di divested, but uh -huh. he's not no longer like on the board. Got it. Okay. That because yeah, his like weird like. I mean, the guy, he was, like, at all the live events. Well, I think they just don't do that shit anymore because they don't have any money. Well, right. But regardless, oh, like, also, even, also, even years ago, he was always like, why does this guy think I'm Triller? Yeah, that's a good point. You were the you were at every event being like, hey, I'm Ryan, the Triller guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, you he, he can't have it both ways here. Give me a break, bucko. Buster I think boy, he's just trying to get away from responsibility. I guess. Well, and even the even these hosts were able to see it just now. Yeah, and he like, was like, "But you're the founder, right?" Yeah, they were like, "Wait, but you were involved, right?" He's like, "Yeah, well, I'm the co-founder." Like, okay, fine, I do own half. <laughs> 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 Fucking dumbass idiot, moron, loser, poor. Whore? You call him a whore? <laughs> no, I didn't call him a whore. <laughs> I said poor. Oh, poor. <laughs> what a whore. whore. What a hoe. A whore. What a little hussy. Oh, ass. crazy. Somebody said, you should check if this is safe to drink with your medications. This is caffeine. Endearing, I guess. Yeah, it's caffeine. <laughs> it's not alcohol. Although I am on a lot of medicine. <laughs> no, it's fine. I gotta go to the bathroom. Go ahead. Are we gonna publicly personally sue him? But I guess we're gonna skip the Stanley Cup. Well, uh, let's see. I'm pretty committed to watching this. Yeah, but we can we can always save it for Monday. Okay. But hopefully he doesn't spend the whole time talking about me, and it's just like a part here. Av, you watched the whole thing, right? I uh, know. Uh, Olivia did. I was yeah. setting up the thing outside this morning. How much does he talk about me? He doesn't talk about you the whole interview. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I timestamp the important things. Okay, great. 
Consuming too much caffeine while taking Welbutrin can increase the risk of seizure. Why did you send me that? <laughs> Beta uh, to protect you. What what part of that do you think I wanted to know? <laughs> you like Han Solo? Never tell you the odds. Right. Yeah. He's rolling the dice. Noted. Now, okay. People on Welbutrin drink coffee. Yeah, it says too much. Yeah, I know, but th this the whole thing with this is supposedly kill two people. Right. Right. But I'm not gonna. There's no. Once I saw the volume, <laughs> I'm out on this project. A lot of liquid. It's project. like I'm nursing on it, and I've taken like one tiny little blip <laughs> off it. It's not happening. I'd be more concerned you're gonna be up peeing all night than anything. Absolutely, dude. It goes straight through you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And he tells his seven million followers. Ryan Kavanaugh looks like something that would go straight through you. Uh-huh. That's right. That's I true. Know. Yeah, I guess. Like a, like sure. A, something that's like, like look, unhealthy food. He looks item. like shit. He looks like a fried <laughs> Twinkie or some right, shit. That is pretty funny, actually. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> if you ate him, you would have diarrhea. Yeah, yeah. yeah he just... That was right, you're, you're, you're three for three today. I'll Thanks, bro. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, bro. Love you for that. Ryan Kavanaugh suing me, and he makes up all kinds of shit. I mean, the worst shit you can do, you can you can make up. I joke around that so he manipulated my Wikipedia, and I joke around. Brother, <laughs> you've got to stop lying about me. Whoa! That's just I he says I me Ethan Klein manipulated his Wikipedia. You got to stop lying, dude. You have to Is stop. Is that defamation? Would you? I say? don't know. I don't know. Huh? It's certainly a lie. Right. Yeah. And I feel like you could even pro I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to get into too much legal speculation sure. with this. I just want to make oh, yeah, but but he's it's certainly a lie. And so that's a big part of defamation, you know. Right. Yeah, and I'm confused about the 7 million followers. You haven't posted anything on your main YouTube channel. Yeah, right? what the fuck? Which Wait, would hold on. be the only place. Yeah, I mean, why do you say you 7 tell million? 7 million followers. I mean, I appreciate the flattery, but it's yeah. not true. That's just also not true and, and a lie in my opinion. Ryan Kavanaugh. I guess if you add them all up, maybe. But you haven't posted maybe everywhere. Who does that? You haven't posted on your main channel. Yeah, in like fucking three years. Yeah, or something. so that's just not right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. I He's... do when I email people about the show. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. I send them a culmination of all the followers. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what's okay. up. That's that's what's up. Course. That's, that's what's correct. Up. Good job, Olivia. Thank true, you. girl. True. Thank you. Suing me, and he makes up all kinds of shit. I mean, the worst shit you can do, you can you can make up. Like what? I joke around that, so he manipulated my Wikipedia, and I joke around that. Like what did I make up, Ryan? <laughs> can you name he one? my Wikipedia. You sound like such a fucking. Let, let's remember what you're suing me for <laughs> defamation, Ryan. You're suing me for reading the title of a fucking Variety article. So, what exactly is it that I lied about you? Like, just name one, man. These balls. I mean, I lay on my Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I can't open this LinkedIn, but apparently it says Throst hacked his Wikipedia on his LinkedIn. Yeah, I can send you. <laughs> no way. That, yeah, I, can. I can't open it. Unless he calls out Throst by name. Yeah, I mean, I'm not as familiar with LinkedIn, but this looks like his legit page. I mean, here I'll send it. It's his cool. name. Or, well, or, well no, it has letters or it has a bunch of numbers behind it, so it could be. Do you think in his heart of hearts, to this day, he thinks you are Throst? Like he's. Truly no. convinced of that? No, he thinks I'm Throst. I think he, whatever, he, I like, don't, we're Throst. I think he thinks that Throst is under my influence. Right. One way or the other, is what <laughs> I think he believes. Um, although he certainly has said that I'm doing it about everything, so I don't know. Mm. So let's see, here's his Wikipedia. Um, my Wikipedia page has been hacked and taken over by paid editor Throst. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. Dude, why would you write that? Why would you that? put that in there? Put that on like, do we know for sure this is his? Yeah, it's verified. And that's the account that messaged me like, too. Like, you're a professional. You're trying to like, do investments and stuff. This is Yeah, people are gonna look it up and they're gonna see you whining about your Wikipedia page. Shut oh, up. Oh god, it's humiliating, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that <clears throat> LinkedIn account is verified using a Triller email. Mm. I know it, his, yeah, uh, well, he has nothing to do with Triller, so well, that's weird. <laughs> well, it's weird yeah. that he's verified the account with the Triller email. Why would he have a Triller? Why would an investor even have a Triller email? Huh. Yeah, that is weird. All right. Like, well, an investor co-founder. Well, I <laughs> co-founder. Why would? But yeah, why would they? Like Warren Buffett <laughs> probably doesn't have like a. What's one of the famous companies he owns? I don't know. He doesn't have an at email. Berkshire. Sees Candy. Hathaway. Uh, Omaha Steaks. 
All right, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. Like, I'm like, if you read it, I'm Ted Bundy meets Bernie Madoff, you know, and... Is that what he said about me? What? Oh, I said about him. You joke around that, like, I'm like, if you read it, I'm Ted Bundy meets Bernie Madoff. I, I, I don't remember saying that, but that is a really funny... That is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying to make me look bad, that sounds funny. Ted Bundy be, <laughs> meets Bernie Madoff. That's really good, Ryan. <laughs> Me and he makes up all kinds of shit. I mean, the worst shit you can you can you can make up. I joke around that. So he manipulated my Wikipedia, and I joke around that like I'm like, if you read it, I'm Ted Bundy meets Bernie Madoff, you know. And thank God I won this. Like, I have a good sense of humor, but I, I had I actually had. <laughs> yeah, a, he's got a really great sense. Of humor. Yeah, thank God yeah. he's got thank he's God. a really funny guy. Yo, that's a good clip, Zach. Thank <laughs> God I have a good sense of humor. Okay, it's Bernie Madoff, you know. And thank God I won this. Like, I have a good sense of humor, but I, I had yeah. I actually had ended up having to sue him because. He what got, did you sue me for? None of the shit you just said is in the lawsuit. So what is it exactly you're suing me for again? I, he went and did balls. 55 podcasts on me. People are like, what's... 55? I haven't counted them. They're not all about 55 you. podcasts mm -hmm. on me. I don't think one of them has been dedicated solely to Ron. Also, why he's framing this as if he sued you in retaliation for all of this. Right. Like, he is misrepresenting this entire situation completely. We didn't know who the fuck Ryan Kavanaugh was until they sued you. I guess because he would say trailer sued you, not him. That's probably what he would say. Podcasts on me because again, he has nothing. He to do is with thriller. thriller though. He's missed. He has thriller. nothing to do with thriller. <laughs> like, thriller come on, me. pull the clips, man. <laughs> thriller is me. This is fucking <laughs> thriller is me. Wait, is that real? <laughs> this is all real. He said thriller is me. Thriller is me. Or did you cut? He said, "I think thriller is me." <laughs> I might have cut it. Okay, let's be let's be careful, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> well, we're probably coming up on that part in the clip in just a moment. Let's not do anything like this. Especially with you. Yeah. Podcast. If you go on his Instagram right now. Well, I don't. Now, his Instagram, and he's got 7 million followers, makes a lot of money. His web no. website. Wait, have we really dedicated he created. 55 episodes to Ryan Kavanaugh? Yeah, we might have. We may have mentioned him in 55. Over, in I mean, the course of what? Podcast. How long has this been he's happening? Probably, three, probably years. three years. He's now. probably yeah. counting every episode that he was in the background. Would be my guess. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. There, that was a saga. I barely count. But in truth, like over three or four years that this has been happening, I mean, we've probably done like a thousand episodes. You know, fifty-five or like close to it. Yeah, I wasn't volume. necessarily doubting it. I was just wondering if that was a real fake. It could be. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Could be. Certainly. I don't know though. Call it fifty-six now, Ryan. But I haven't counted, and I don't know what he means by making a podcast about him. You know. Talking about him, probably. Hold, hold no. on, this is weird. Uh, do you have a link of that, AB? Yeah, it's, it's right above. Uh, I'll send it oh, here. Me. What the fuck, Ryan? This is your personal YouTube channel. It says Triller in the fucking <laughs> header. That's weird. <clears throat> it's really weird. It must have been someone hacked him. It also says he's the co-owner co of Triller in the description. He, well, he admit that. He did yeah, admit yeah. that. Listed as his site. Well, he said co-founder. Hold on. Does it say co-owner? Yeah, co-owner. Yeah. Again, in the clip, he said co-founder because he's constantly trying to distance himself, probably because he knows it's an abject failure and he doesn't want it Here. tied to his name so closely. I don't know that there's such a big difference between co-founder and co-owner. Well, yeah. co-founder implies you were there at the beginning, but your status may have changed. Co-owner, right? that's saying I currently co-own this company. I agree. I uh, I sent this will end all debate. I sent his uh, personal webpage, RyanKavanaugh.com, and if but, you control find Triller in there, but don't go to this website, guys. <laughs> we don't want to <laughs> confuse the algorithm. Proxima <laughs> Media, <laughs> yada yada. Yeah, yeah. Don't go to this website. <laughs> yeah, at the bottom of <laughs> this. Well, then just take a screenshot. Uh, you know what I mean? Don't send me this this link. This is uh, <laughs> this is subrefuge. <laughs> if you're at home, type. My oh look, uh, Brian Kavanaugh abused kids. See that that <laughs> it's not an accusation. No. I was just looking for the. Filing. Don't type that. No, that's what I typed. You mm -hmm. can see, but that's not an accusation. Literally, just was trying to find that filing, and it was endangerment. Just to be clear, not abuse. Or I mean, I I don't know what's the difference necessarily legally, but yeah, we're number. <laughs> if you go to number three, <laughs> does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? This is the one you want to click. Right. I and have him saying that. Is that cool to play? Saying what? Does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? That's totally fine. Okay. <laughs> That's actually fantastic. We got to keep going on this video because I got to see where he talks about the website because that's awesome. Wait, we need to put that on the website. <laughs> I will. Uh, we'll work on that. 
Here, I'll just say it oh, on his shit. website. Wait, our website's down again, See, love. I, I checked before the show just because, but I think we might need to upgrade the... Oh, yeah. We gotta upgrade, upgrade the, the hosting, I mean, put it all on my card. Yeah, 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 it's a yeah, company yeah. expense. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Does um, Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> His website, there's a section that says, How Triller Became Ryan Kavanaugh's Big Comeback. Oh, mm. that doesn't sound good. Interesting. That sounds like he is Triller. Sounds related. His big comeback is about to fall. It's like, <laughs> not. He's going to have to update that website it's a, soon. Triller's a come down at this point. We're coming down, back down. All right, go ahead, Ryan. Go ahead. Like we Harvey look. Weinstein. Like, is a website. Everything he's saying sounds pretty funny. On his Instagram right now, his Instagram, and he's got 7 million followers, makes a lot of money. His website is a website he created, listed as his site, does Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? That's listed as his personal website. And then he just lists all kinds of bullshit that he made up. <laughs> yeah, and but come went, on. Whoa! Wait, come on. Bullshit we made up? That That's, shit on that website is no, all that is sourced. Highly yeah, sourced. We have n he has never questioned the authenticity of anything yeah. on that website. That's how you know it's accurate, because he hasn't sued you for exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. That would be each a lawsuit if there was that, right. that's, made up stuff there. That's what I think. Dude, <laughs> absolutely. <coughs> Holy fuck, dude. What the fuck? You're a liar, bro. And he challenged all of his audience to, um, said, go on his Wikipedia. We're going to all upvote. Never done that. I didn't. I did not say that. About this, he I sort of read it threads like, like let's destroy his Google, and so I ended up having to sue him. Yeah, for real. defamation. Defam yeah, that's the def and I yeah, he's not suing me for that. Actually, he no. tried to sue me for that, and I think that was the um, tortious interference one that got thrown out, and he had to pay mm. my legal fees. I think. Yeah, that was the one. The the Triller one was what he tried. He tried to sue me for. You know better than me. I'm yeah, tortious you. interference that's is the confused. one that we've won. It could be defamation. Yeah, I don't know. Is I don't, the thing is because we're both public figures. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'd have to talk to my lawyer. I don't know if what he's doing is defamation because when you're a public figure, it's very hard to defame someone or to be defamed. I mean, mm. well, he's a public figure. Yeah. Well, we're doing so what the hell? Doing us for defamation. Yeah, but we're doing an anti-slap that's lost on the first round which i think the judge was sorely mistaken and we're feeling quite good about our appeal on the anti-slap oh. nice to the uh appellate courts so we'll see let's go appellate courts i believe in the appellate courts let's and go. by the way losing the anti-slap does not mean we lost the case it's literally just a motion to dismiss based on the fact that um i'm a that uh he's a public figure Mm. And therefore, I, the, the defamation bar. is like way yeah. high. So it's it's got nothing to do with losing the case, which he tries to he tries to say. Mm. Thank you. One, and the thing is, you never win in California, especially as a, as a public figure. Yeah. And I won. Wait, what do you and say? Went to, and I won. Mm. And the thing is, you never wait. What did you win? You won. And so I the fuck did you win? I ended up having to sue him. Yeah, for real. defamation. Yeah, that's the def and I won. Mm. And which part of saying he looks like? Harvey Weinstein is defamation. Bro, you're just, you're not that handsome. Like, let's just be real about it. But he's saying he sued for defamation and won. <laughs> he didn't win anything. I don't know what he's talking about. Like, like, let's destroy his Google. And so I ended up having to sue him yeah, for real. Yeah, defamation. Yeah, that's the def And I won. And the thing is- What did you win? What did he win? He's about to say that you went on your podcast and lied about winning. Oh, the tortious interference one, we won. Unequivocally, we won. <laughs> you are ordered by the court to pay up for our legal fees. The that... narrative is different on the unscripted podcast, it seems. Yeah. <laughs> we need a script. We got a different reality yeah. going on over here. You, you guys, right yeah. Yeah. we need to do a little prep here, fellas. Yeah. <laughs> you never win in California, especially as a, as a public figure. And yeah. I won. And he went and told his audience that I lost. He says you never win in California as a public figure. Well, you haven't won. Again, even if he wins, even if he wins the anti-slap, that's got nothing to do with losing the case. It mm -hmm. just means you go back to the beginning right. of, the process. of the process. It's like a shortcut to try mm -hmm. to get rid of it. Right. And ha like I said, however, it's been appealed, and I'm, I personally feel very strongly that the appeal will be successful. It's getting old, dude. Chill, what the fuck, bro? I'm trying to enjoy your content. Beta. <laughs> you, the only one. Don't call me a beta. <laughs> beta. Brad the Bull. Tell me about that, beta. Beta. Oh, I hope he explains the Brad the Bull situation <laughs> to these uh, hosts. He doesn't, he doesn't bring that up. Oh, shoot. 
Well, uh, and he's in the appeal right now, which gets heard in August. And then when okay, so he said there's an appeal. Okay, good. So there's an appeal that will be heard in August. I didn't know that. Thank you. He loses. He'll owe me like you know probably tens of millions of dollars. I don't. It's so slow. It is. Yeah. I'd, I'd actually be surprised if it's yeah. by then. Like, I I know it takes, like, it was, when we filed the appeal, my lawyers were like, just so you know, we're not going to hear shit about this for, like, a year plus. Yeah. That is crazy, man. Yeah, it sucks to have to deal with this shit for so <laughs> You're long. You're going to be dealing with Ryan Kavanaugh for, like, a decade yeah. by the time yeah, it's all done. So. And this fucking guy. Jesus. This fucking guy. <laughs> you have anything better to do, Ryan? Dude, Dude, you did that. Raise those kids. <laughs> go know. fight fire. Go be a great dad. Go fire. <laughs> go fight fires, you know what I mean? Shit. Hey, Biotech. Suck these balls. Whoa, chill. Dude. It's vulgar. <laughs> For a dad, too. And the thing is, you never win in California, especially as a, as a public figure. And yeah. I won. And he went and told his audience that I lost. And he's in the appeal right now, which gets heard in August. And then, oh, dude, he's such a. Okay. Once he loses, he'll owe me like, you know, probably tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. Like, tens <laughs> of millions? <laughs> oh. He's got to buy another watch, dude. That's, okay. If he actually believes that, that, that could explain why. <laughs> why he's so, he really thinks he's going to get tens of millions mm -hmm. of dollars from me. Yeah. <laughs> we already know that. We didn't know that. Is this the one where he said that we won? I don't know. I just I find it funny. Like he, he's saying that you're so adamant on lying to your audience about uh, winning <laughs> when the title of your I video lost is, my I lost my lawsuit. Is this the one where we talk about that? Just to be clear, uh, let me. Or is it just clickbait? I, no, I think it was. I think that's why yeah, we clickbaited I think that, that. I'll, I'll confirm though. Because there was headlines and shit, and I was like, no, nah, that's not exactly it. This man said I'm gonna owe him tens of millions. Jesus, but bro. I feel like he's confusing everything too. He's. I'm getting super confused <laughs> because yeah, he's saying. He said he won, which we did win the tortious interference. Yeah, so there was one thing we did win. He's just, um, he's conf he's off you. <gasps> skating and downright lying, if not downright lying. He might not be lying. Um, it but might just, what is it? Is it called like, um. Off you skating at best, downright lying at worst, I could say. I was going to say, is it called, um, wet brain? Is that what they call it? Wet brain? Is that yeah. from alcohol? Yeah. Oh. Wet and reckless brain, I think. Would be. What is a wet brain? <laughs> it's a, like a condition I think you can get from uh, from drinking way too much. I don't know how. Unless much I'm confusing he... it with something else. He was. Oh no, wet brain from alcohol. Wet. Yeah. Okay, so dude, thank yeah. you. So this was the title we, confirmed by AB. He says he's been going around telling everyone he won. This is the title of that episode. Tell me. I <laughs> lost my lawsuit. What a moron. <laughs> It's real comfortable lying. It's funny because I was like dealing with this this guy and I was just getting more and more frustrated. At first I was like responding and that just gave him more fuel. Right. What are you doing now? I thought I genuinely thought he learned his lesson. Cause I was like, man, it's been quiet on the Cav Cav front. Wow, poor Ryan. He just chose to sue us four <laughs> times. Yeah. Oh, Ryan, just leave him alone. He's just being oh, boring. He's like, just a little small bean. Small bean. <laughs> He movie producer, alone. social media CEO. However, you Wyan, will pay me tens guy. of millions of dollars. Little Wyan. Little Wyan, why are you picking on me? I'm just a little old billionaire. <laughs> why are you picking on me? Well, well, are, thing. I didn't realize that. I'm like, I'm not that's like, I'm not, I'm usually behind yeah. the social media guys. I'm not yeah, a social you, media guy. You search your name. You yes. The platform so I was like attacking him back when I'm like, this guy's a liar. And then he'd take it and he'd just do another show on it. So I just yeah. stopped responding. But now you understand. So I just sued him more and more You just gave me the more. blockbuster. <laughs> I mean, this is good content, brother. <laughs> also, Thank that you. same episode, we were all avatars. Just want to <laughs> yeah. Yeah, That's super awesome. serious stuff. Yeah. Super. <laughs> Does that mean a judge will see us in our fucking <laughs> sick ass avatar outfits at some point? Uh, I have I no know. idea. And, um, and I realized, so. yeah, I don't know. I felt pretty. I felt bad. I mean, probably well, if that's. But I actually, I don't know. I mean, hopefully not. Hopefully there is no judge, no jury. Well, mm -hmm. the judge would still see it, I think, based on right. Whatever. I don't know. Oh, because so I would get somewhere between a thousand and five thousand death threats on Instagram from his followers, and he had key lines. He would... how much. I'd love to see At everyone. Somewhere between 1,000 and 5,000 death threats on Instagram. You got 5,000 death threats? Wow. <laughs> Did you just sit there scrolling through them all? <laughs> 5,000? <000? laughs> Counting them? 
<laughs> Rumor has it they were all sent by Throst. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's some kind of automated death threat s- script. <laughs> I have not sent him death threats, and I do not encourage anybody to ever send him death threats, mm-hmm. nor to send him messages or, or interact with him at any kind. Right. This is a legal issue between me and Ryan, and that's how I uh, plan to resolve it. So anybody at home who's thinking of messaging him or interacting him with all, at any kind, I strongly disavow and discourage. From his followers, and he had key changes. lines he would use. Like, <laughs> he called me Cav Cav. And so Why'd I like, call hey, you Cav Cav? Yeah, what's the story behind that? Explain it. He called me Cav Cav. Huh. Cav Cav. Cav Cav. Could that possibly be the last person that edited a fucking <laughs> document <laughs> yeah. falsely alleging sexual harassment? Huh. Cav Cav. I believe that's what it said, right? It was something like that, yeah. It was something of that kind. Yeah, I don't want to get that wrong. Pretty sure that's correct. It's on our website if you want to read it verbatim. Of course it is. <laughs> yeah. Does cor- Ryan Kavanaugh look like Harvey Weinstein? <laughs> well, that's why that is a good question, Ryan, and I'm glad you asked. No, he was saying the name of the website. He wasn't mm-hmm. asking me? No, you said it's on our website and he was providing the URL. Mm-hmm. The oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Damn, it's still down, love. Yeah, I don't know. I'm talking to the it shouldn't be down. We're we got good hosting, so I'm. Um, hmm. hmm. Do you think we're under attack? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's not impossible, but because it was open all the way. Well, it's probably just people juicing it. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on that. Yeah. Mm. Hey, Cav, Cav, I'm coming to kill you and your family. Or like, wait, yeah. what? Wait, what? Hold the fucking phone. Right? Like, he called me Cav, Cav. And so it'd be like, hey, Cav, Cav, I'm coming to kill you and your family. Oh, or, okay. He's oh, saying, like, that's, that's what people are saying. Jesus, bro. Or like, you know, he would be like, "These balls." I get these things like, "Hey, suck these." These balls. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> that's a life threat. Whenever mean, these nuts, maybe? he doesn't even know. These, these balls. balls. These, these balls. Like that's boomer. a terrible message to get. I bet that was a really hard day. Well, he he's gonna explain that the these balls people have been threatening okay. him. Yeah. Balls. I get like a picture of balls. But then he started sending it to my. Ex-wife, who's the mother of my child, and we're coming to kill you. So I finally actually started filing complaints, and it turns out... You know what? That's horrible. I hope that that's I not true. If anyone is doing that, shame on you. You're not doing it for me. Don't do it. Right. Like, I felt um, bad two kids got kicked out of school because of it. His That I have not heard. They got kicked out? That's crazy. What? He got two kids kicked out of school? Because of what? He said I got his kids kicked out of no, school. No, he got two kids kicked out of school. Oh, he did? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let me go back. Oh, complaints. shit. That's... Fucked up. These yeah, balls, I get like a picture of balls. But then he started sending it to my ex-wife, who's the mother of my child, and we're coming to kill you. So I finally actually started filing complaints, and it turns out, like, I felt bad two kids got kicked out of school because of it. His- Bro, that's not a brag. What do you He's- mean I felt bad? Did you? You got them kicked out of yeah. school? Sounds like, yeah, that, that sucks. They're just dumb kids. Kicked out of what? school? I don't know if that's even true, though. Who knows with Ryan? Um, regarding what I said about... Cav Cav. Cav Cav. Why people call him Cav Cav. This is from the de- Deadline w- Deal Line? Deadline. I'm sorry, I spelled that wrong. Deadline website. In conclusion, the arbiter Judge Friedman wrote, the evidence was overwhelming and undeniable that relativity <coughs> falsified the genus <coughs> memorandum. First, the metadata refuted all of relativity's theories linking the memorandum to genus and established that it was the last modified on October 15, 2017 by who? Cav Cav. Cav Cav. Which, as the jo- judge noted, must be Kavanaugh. Thank you for the exact, I, like I like to be exact. His followers are all like kids, kids in high school and they just believe what he says and they- You shouldn't feel bad about that, you shouldn't be threatening your- yeah. No, I know, but it's like- kids. Yeah, you're right. They, if they did that, then fine. But they didn't. I mean, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I support Ryan in that. Nobody should be doing that to him. I back Nobody him up. Nobody should be sending, we're going to kill you. Of course it's not. Crazy. I, I'm with Ryan on that one. I'm backing him up. He did the right thing. Um, I don't know that, I don't know how he knows that they're from us, though. Because it's, they said D's balls. Because he, he has a lot of enemies. Mm. God, he has so much time. He I tracks down yeah. everybody. I read 5,000 death threats. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like our audience is more internet savvy. I don't feel like they would use 
these balls. I feel like that's an older person trying to act young. I, well, I, and I'll tell you what, I don't think we have a lot of high school yeah. watchers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like the vast majority of watchers are probably college age or older. Mm -hmm. You and know what I mean? We've never said these balls on our <laughs> show. Yeah, that's a new one. <laughs> so I doubt that. Is that ours. defamation? <laughs> Maybe. He said that mm -hmm. I've been saying these balls. I find that highly inflammatory. Yeah. It, it, no, and this this guy he got kicked off a team, and but they're all they're young kids, and they he has like six seven million followers that are uh -huh. kids that just follow him, and so, um, but it's funny because it led to we. And, I like to see evidence. It's amazing how he's wrong about everything. He's he's wrong, and he's the way he's spinning everything is really tremendous. Yeah. And how does he know this much about those kids? Seems weird. Yeah. What did you hire a private investigator to f trail teenagers? Maybe right. That's a possible. I mean, he found their schools. He contacted their schools. He probably knows their parents' names. Was well, someone uh, did? Well, this we're, is we're, all. This is all. Someone did. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. he said he got it's two kids kicked out of school. No, he did say that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just don't know if he hired. Like, yeah, we. A private yeah, idol. we don't know if there's anyone involved in between. If it, that's true, he's his own gumshoe. Yeah. No, I think he did it all himself. <laughs> well, we'll see in the next lawsuit. <laughs> <laughs> and ironically, he's like I. On the piracy case, which he did win the first piracy case, and he said, "I didn't pirate anything." In the chat. Yeah, or yeah, lots, people, I lots of twenty somethings, some thirty. I I don't think there's hardly any high schoolers that watch this. The youngest show. I've seen here is nineteen so far. Yeah, which is basically that's even graduation age. That's like you're done. Everything else is over twenty. Yeah. Closer to thirty. That's one thing I'm actually proud of is that adults are watching this show. Yeah, we got you know how many how many people on YouTube can say they have adults watching them? You know what I mean? <laughs> That's a vibe. We got a forty-three. Forty-three, old. Like we love the old. Yo, don't die. We need you. It's just like you. No, he's older. Thanks. And then, like four months ago, there was a second piracy case that Triller had, and they won against it, where the judge found he pirated. Oh no! What? Wait, what? What do you what? <laughs> this guy even posts like, what's his contract? I don't know. He says... Which he did win the first piracy case. Mm -hmm. So he's saying, I won the first okay. piracy case, which I actually piracy? don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, what? When we won was tortious interference. Mm -hmm. He said, I didn't pirate anything. And then, like, four months ago, there was a second piracy case that Triller had, and they won against him where the judge found he pirated. Oh, no. Is he talking about me? Or is he talking about someone I'm else? I, think, I vaguely remember Triller making somebody else pay. But it was like a little amount. It was tiny. It was yeah. someone that didn't even answer the complaint. They, like, and the judge ruled they, that they just oh, owe $50 right. for each view. And Is that he, what he's he, talking about? I guess, because I don't know of any other uh, infringement case he's won. Big but dope. the judge ordered the kid to pay like 500 bucks or something. You know. What does this guy even post? Like, what's his contact? His I entire contact. I'd never heard of him before. Yeah, I don't is know To is. attack people. And he picks someone and he attacks them and he... He, he calls his, his community his foot soldiers and okay, but that's from wiki feet not because it's like an army thing But go on <laughs> It's yeah. wiki feet and know. also that's not all our content. That's just not true either It's another that's not like my thing. No, definitely not So liar no lies. This is this is pretty serious stuff. He's saying about me. Yeah, this is very serious accusations. He's leveling he gets his foot, he says foot soldiers attack, and then they have like reddits and they have Stop, um, I never say discords that. and That's like, so toxic. I, it's, I don't know how you live that life. Oh, apparently he, I hmm. think I heard, I don't know if this, that he has like spies in the discord and shit. Yo, for <laughs> real? Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to do a purge. I mean, it's fine, <laughs> but I have, uh, clearly there's nothing log. going on there. I think our discord's pretty nice. Oh wow, we have seen. somebody in the chat who's 97 years old. Holy shit, wow. we love you, oh my goodness. <laughs> Are you, hi! <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> we love the old. These balls. Beautiful. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> <laughs> but what it led to for me These was, balls. it's interesting because I, I realized <laughs> that's not going to solve piracy. In fact, mm -hmm. the piracy probably made him more money on the podcast he did off me than, you know, it, like mm -hmm. he probably made tens of millions of dollars off it. I'm not just- What, 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 what the fuck are you, are you smoking, smoking Your concept bro. of money is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? How much money do you think I make here? <laughs> You think I made tens of millions of dollars yeah, talking about talking about him? Well, he said no. He didn't even say that. He said piracy. 
So there was one episode where we showed like a brief clip of the Jake Paul yes. Astron fight. Yeah. So you're saying I made tens of million dollars pirating that. Because there's no other accusations of piracy against me. Yeah. Yeah, and he's saying like 55 whole I thought he meant from talking me. about him. That's not piracy though. He's got to right. get his shit straight. Hmm? No, can he we hear that again? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting because I, I realized that's not going to solve piracy. In fact, mm -hmm. the piracy probably made him more money on the podcast he did off me than, he, you know, like mm -hmm. he probably made tens of millions of dollars off it. I'm not joking. Bro. Bro. The way he's saying it, he's confusing everything together because he went from privacy to the podcast he made off me. That's what he's been doing him. the whole time. Yeah. He, he mixes things Decide together. Decide what you're talking about. <laughs> to make it sound advantageous to him. He says, bro, I wish. I mean, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I've definitely spent hundreds of thousands of dollars. So honestly, on the podcast I've done about you, it's hard to say, frankly, if uh, we're up or down. <laughs> right. And I'm not talking like I'm talking about like our show as a institution, as a business that we do every day. I'm not playing like this episode was sponsored by Ryan talking about Ryan Kavanaugh. Like we do whole episodes, not just about you. Be cool, guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm not even going to get into this. <laughs> Maybe I will get into this. <laughs> Here's one of the death threats he got from Be Cool Guy 261. <laughs> he posted this We're going to downvote your business on Google because you are running a Ponzi scheme like Cav Cav, you fucking bitch. Oh, by the way, I'm going to fucking kill you and your whole family. What is this? Apparently, this is a death threat he got. From one of our fans. And he posted? Our number one fan. I guarantee you, I guarantee you that none of our fans ride motocross. <laughs> Not one. Um, Not one motocross. Definitely. That might be painful. Definitely. Yeah, I was going to oh, say, that it kind of looks like yeah, a paintball so. mask. And they might, there might be some paintballers out there. <laughs> Shout out to our paintballers. So he tags me, he says... Ethan Glenn continues to encourage his followers to threaten people and destroy their lives. I mean, I'm not going to, this whole thing is nuts. He's manipulating kids who don't necessarily understand. He doesn't tell the truth and spins words to suit his narrative. His toxic vitriol has already harmed a lot of people. Unfortunately, he's going to cause someone to go too far. I hope he stops before it's too late. As of now, be cool guy 261 has <laughs> issued a death threat and will be dealt with by the authorities. Good. I mean, if this is indeed a real message that you got from a real account, absolutely report them to the authorities. Yeah, sure. I back we, we, 100%. We don't care about cool guy 261. No, fuck that guy. That guy's wrong for doing that. And I, and I discourage in gr the strongest possible terms. As the H3 podcast, maybe everyone, uh, maybe everyone should let the actual evidence be presented in court before allow. Are you trying to infringe on my uh, free speech? Uh, before a deranged, homophobic racist with almost no education? What? Wow. What? Bitch, you didn't even finish college according Whoa. to your Wikipedia page. <laughs> what does that mean? Racist? What, did he say that about me or the person who said it? As for H3 podcast, about you? maybe everyone should let the actual evidence be presented in court before allowing a deranged homophobic racist with almost no education be judged, juror, and executioner. Yeah, he's talking about me. Yeah. What the fuck? What? You're coming after my education? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I'm a college graduate. I don't think you can even say that. There's a there's that blurb on his Wikipedia, which I learned about him. You go there. About him. He had this whole, like, controversy of, according to, let me read this. It's really good. Um, <laughs> Kavanaugh attended UC Santa Barbara and UCLA, but dropped out in 1996. 2012, Kavanaugh threatened the New Yorker with legal action for its reporting on him, including its report that he dropped out of university. Kavanaugh said he was an official graduate of UCLA and currently enrolled in a PhD program at USC. The New Yorker stood by its reporting, while subsequent uh, sources reported that Kavanaugh finished a degree in 2012. The Wall Street Journal reported that there's no record of him taking classes at USC. Mm. So, I mean... <laughs> Here, I mean, there's there's questions. There's this guy's life is just a big question mark. No, by the way, and then if you want to just compare notable alumni, UCSC. I'm pretty sure I'm on this list, Bucko. Yeah, you are. So that's in it. you know they're like yeah he he went here. You. They're like Ethan Klein, motherfucker, hey, B.A. Hey, English hey, literature. Look, hey, 
YouTube video blogger and satirist. Said, <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's go. This motherfucker graduated. <laughs> Yo. <coughs> Uh, Kerry Joji Fukunaga went to your school. Did you know that? I didn't. That's the guy who made True Detective. Fuga not gonna go here anymore. Ah, I got him. I love that show. Uh, There's yeah. a new season coming out. I saw on the a billboard for it. Uh, there is a new season. Yeah, curious how that'll be. The first season was so good. I'm still like chasing that high. <laughs> <laughs> they have not quite attained that height. That first season was nuts, wasn't it? Of which one? Oh, True Detective. Ian says the uh, first oh, uh, first episode's it. out of the new season. Did you watch it, Ian? Oh, it's HBO, right? Yeah. yeah. First yeah. episode's I, out. I haven't watched it yet, but the reviews are really good. Oh, yes. Lena? Nice. Yes. Okay. Cool. Are you taking Ducky, too? Yeah. Okay. Yes. They says it's good. True Detective? The first episode, it got good reviews, Ian said. Ooh. What a treat. All right, go, Ryan, go ahead, Ryan. 55 podcasts a week like and people like i saw a lot of his followers they're like this is getting old dude like mm -hmm. move on but so i went and I, <laughs> I mean they say that about everything we talk. true <laughs> i worked with a partner we're about to announce that to come up with a way to stop live streaming piracy completely and it actually works it's in beta and it's mm -hmm. coming out soon yeah, yeah it's interesting how that, that, would, that would work though ryan kavanaugh solved piracy I par solved it, it does that have something to do with the press release he wanted me to say as part of the settlement <laughs> like I remember one one of the settlement offers was he wanted me to pay him a nine hundred thousand dollars and he pre-written statement that sounds like it was written by a five-year-old. It was like, I want to say that Triller has amazing anti-piracy technology that really <laughs> surprised me. Yeah. And I encourage everybody to pay up. <laughs> Crazy. Oh no. It works. Does it? Is it just AI? No, it's a file type. So you change the file type completely. So yeah, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds You're like it's gonna work. A dumbass. If you <laughs> the that real Yo, they got the file type tech. Damn. AI might make more sense. I was like, okay, AI is capable of amazing things. Yeah. But file type, bro. <laughs> I don't know about file type. That kid sounded so bored. He sounded like Phidias. He's like, that's interesting. Uh, yeah. Interesting. Oh, very interesting. We got to get Ryan on Phidias podcast. <laughs> oh, that would be so epic. Interesting. I think we got to get you on the unscripted podcast to set the record straight. Oh, true. Go sit down I, we got to demand. I have to send them a letter. Oh, demand for <laughs> equal uh, time. Yeah. Satis satisfaction. No, yeah. That's a conversation mm -hmm. they will not be on. Either. Dude, I'll bring a folder and I'll go over everything. <laughs> I'll be like, listen, he said this. <laughs> that's just so you guys yeah. know, I'm going to turn him against him yeah. so easy. Because yeah. the facts are on my side. That would that's actually be the, so fucking the funny. The housewives do now at reunions. They bring a folder. Right. Physical folder with the receipts. <laughs> Should I do that? Would that be worth all the effort of doing it? I mean, I think those 400 viewers deserve to know the truth. <laughs> it would be really fucking it's funny. true. I mean, I can't be defamed anywhere. Not even, yeah. okay. even though probably most of those 400 is, you know, people <laughs> that watch this show. Just show them how, um, you know, your Howie episode is the top rated and uh, you, right. bring, you bring the views. You know what I mean? Yeah. It'll be the highest rated episode of Unscripted. I think so. Yeah, it'll be a banger. That. It'll be like Sandoval, Scandoval all mm. over again on Howie's show. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead, Brian. I'm loving this. I am. <laughs> if I'm streaming an event and you're watching it, it's specific to your TV. And if you try <laughs> to rebroadcast it, whether it's through Screen Share, Zoom, Apple, any of them, it's a black screen. It oh, will Netflix not. This actually does that, actually. Um, Netflix does it a little bit, but Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> Even he's like, you didn't invent that. <laughs> every. You didn't invent that. Almost dumbass. every streaming service does that. <laughs> what about like well, right very click? Very easy to get around. What about Netflix? like yeah. right click Block. save as? Save as? No, I mean you can't do that. But like I know what he's. Uh, yeah. The Chase here, right? Is that that guy's? Mm -hmm. Chase is right. Mm -hmm. Netflix has had a similar thing, where there's something built into their player that if you try and use a. Uh, screen capture to like screen record a movie off of Netflix or something, it, it won't come through. Um, most of the people pirating, anybody who knows what they're doing can get around that easily. So Right. And most of the people that I've that are pirating seem to be doing it on their cell phone, just broadcasting it to like Instagram Live or TikTok Live or something. Sure. Yeah. Not that I've ever I don't know anything about that business. <laughs> Maybe I cat like scrolling through sometimes it comes on your page and I obviously of course I've seen those come reported I immediately, immediately to the authorities. Yeah. I don't even FBI take the, start tagging the FBI. Honestly, I don't even report it because I want to get off it so fast. Mm -hmm. Right. This is so evil. 
I feel I'm stealing yeah. in that moment, and I don't like stealing, so I yep. go that way. So you can, there's, there's ways you can still screen share. Like, yeah. like you can have Netflix on your phone and screen share, right? Mm -hmm. And then that screen could be rebroadcast anywhere else. Oh. This is like, imagine if you tried to show something on Zoom, mm -hmm. and all you saw was a black screen. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what he just said. And, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing, I guess. And, and yeah, it's it's wow. it's gonna be pretty awesome. Wow. It'll literally wow. change the face that's of interesting. all pay-per-view. Wow. Um, that's very interesting. Uh, that's kind of, uh, wow. wow. Leads me to my next question too. So, like working amongst like all these different things, I know you're speaking about that guy earlier a little bit about like how he's got like this audience and stuff. Have you found that living in LA? Have you met like both types of people where it's like these are really good people, but then these are also not so good people that you probably shouldn't associate he with? He is the fucking LA. <laughs> He is megalomaniac. Oh, brother, he is, he is friends with Harvey he Weinstein. He kissed him on the head. <laughs> <laughs> For Christ's sake. Oh, man. Is our website so, yeah. Down? Let me see if our website's still down. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm working yeah. on it, too. Uh, I, right, put it, I took it down because I'm optimizing it right now. We're optimizing? Good. Reducing it. We're Reducing. optimizing. I think it would be so funny to go on this show. I well, think like, so too. It would be so much effort. That's the thing that I don't. I, Not necessarily. I don't, I mean, I don't it's like a short episode. It would be fun. Maybe uh, maybe what we could LA. do to make it we can simulcast it or something, <laughs> so that it would be like. I don't I'll, think we would even need to do that because I'll go in there like ready. <laughs> we, we will inevitably watch yeah. the highlights on our show yeah. after. That, <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like. It'll be content for our show, you going on there. Send Jimmy Lee to represent you. <laughs> that would be kind of fun to bring yeah. Jimmy, just for no reason. Yeah, this is my uh, my counselor right here. <laughs> have him dress in a suit? Yeah. That's my lawyer. Oh. That'd be kind of fun. I'll have By you know, way. this guy is a dentist. He's a doctor. He's a doctor? Dentist. He can, he, he can fucking prescribe medicine, this man here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. In his state. <laughs> um. Ah, uh, man, that was fun. That was crazy. Um. Mm. Shout out! It's ending piracy. Love that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so like, let's I reach out to them. I then. do love how unimpressed yeah. the guy was with his new technology. Yeah, he even changed. He's like, oh, like Netflix. He's like, I know about that. <laughs> that was the best response. <laughs> It was so innocent. He wasn't like trying to roast him, but he was just like, oh yeah, like Netflix. He was like, ah, well, kind of. Um, <laughs> kind of, it's uh, better. Uh, yes, yeah, like Netflix, but better. He's like, we invented it with file types. <laughs> file types. <laughs> so we're going to reach out to Unscripted, guys, yeah. and we're going to get, we're going to get on it. the script with us. You know, we're tell, tell Unscripted that we have 17 million followers. <laughs> 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 we're going to tell our side of the story now. <laughs> so if this one's called The Truth About the Lawsuit, my episode is going to be called The Truth About the Truth About the Lawsuit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, maybe I'll put on a suit and come all ready. Yeah. Yeah. And with a clipboard and shit, bro. I got. You wear receipts. a suit, you'll be better dressed than him. I got receipts on receipts on receipts on receipts. What kind of watch are you gonna wear? Mm. Yeah, true. Mm. I should Boy. get one with the house on it, like mm -hmm. the. Like yeah, I got you. I got you. I think yeah. <laughs> this is actually could be really fun. You could borrow Zach's watch. <laughs> Yeah, sure. I think you should go the other way. I think you should wear like a Mickey Mouse watch or something like that. I want the house. Yeah. The XQC with the house mm -hmm. not watch would be nice. You can borrow it. Or a Casio. Casios are fire. Mm -hmm. Pretty young. I think I was running the studio when I was 25. And so I was arguably wow. called the most powerful person in the for about 10 years. Mm. How'd you do that, like Ryan? A year and 20 <laughs> that's, TV shows. And that's crazy. So during that period he, had, of time, he had enough money to produce films at 25? Yeah. Huh. He must have been a real whiz that kid. That's spectacular. He was getting, he was just uh, bootstraps. Mm -hmm. I was paying overdraft fees. He's a prodigy. <laughs> <laughs> On a burrito. I was paying $35 for a burrito. Yeah, exactly. When overdraft fees. Ugh. Fuckers. Good old days. You know, I was around the who's who in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I was working with, like, pretty much every studio. I um, structured, kind of created Marvel Studios and did no Netflix's way. first kind deal. Of, and, kind um, of. And so I was, like, kind of. in it. And mm -hmm. when I look around at the people I had around that I felt like were my friends, mm -hmm. you know, at, in your 20s, you kind of... I mean, you guys are in your 20s, so... I was going to say, but, I, yeah. but I, you kind of... Um, you don't know we don't know. And yeah. I'll say you it, don't but you, know, you, you don't know. Right. And so you kind of think, oh, this person's my friend. And, you know, as I kind of, you're always going to face challenges in life. And that's the one thing about success. Chat says, wear the uniform. Um, I want to come in a suit. I'm going to have to disagree, I'm Chad. I'm going to come in a suit. Put Jimmy in the uniform. 
Are you afraid of? You will always have ups and downs. And when you have that down, which I had, and I've had big downs and big ups, then you see who's really your friend and who's really not. And it's interesting that some of the people I thought weren't good people turned out to be the best. And some of the people that I expected to be great and be there were not. Mm-hmm. Um, weird. So I say, um, Everything he says is so interesting. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a very long, very detailed article about Marvel Studios, the arm that makes their television and movies. Yeah. Um, and it's interesting because his Wait, we control effing and it was he he helped film the first like uh, Ghost it was, Rider. It was Ghost, Ghost Rider. Rider. Yeah, yeah. but Before here's the thing: you existed, uh, which is the least earning one of the whole franchise, I think. Well, first of all, it's not even connected to like the modern MCU movies at all. But second of all, I mean, Marvel Studios in August 1996, Marvel created Marvel Studios, filed with the SEC to raise money. I mean, 1996? 96? That's a he long was, time ago. That was way before Ghost Rider. I think Ghost Rider he, came out in the 2000s. How old would he have been in 1996? Because he said he would be 25. He's pretty old. It might line up. Let's see. It might actually line Ryan up. Ryan Kavanaugh, age. He's 49. Old. He's born in... 74. That's a hard 49, man. That is a rough 49. He would have been 22 in 1996. So he's... Matthew here a few years chat too young. said, Ethan needs to cat Williams unscripted. True. <laughs> bringing all the... <laughs> bringing all the gossip. True. <laughs> I've gotten very discerning. I think I have like seven people I'd call dear friends. And I've got my family, and you know that's why I say I'm a father first because I kind of don't cares. really go out that much. I spend most of my time with my close friends, and you know I, like, I was trying to convince you to come to like everything. <laughs> and I, just, I got vacation in the mountains with the family. <laughs> I, I literally used to travel 278 days a year in a different country when I was when I was running the studio. I was just on a plane all the time. You, know, you name it, been there, done that. Yeah, you know? I, I think like, that's like the biggest thing. Like uh, that I personally what happened in the studio, out. Ryan? Why'd you pivot? Yeah, you where's tried. the studio? <laughs> what studio? Relativity, or yeah, relativity. What, what happened? Go on. Hey, suck these balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, like I come from like such a small town. It's like you're friends with some of your friends or somebody, and it's like you come to LA, and I feel like the more notoriety I got, it seemed like I had less friends because it was like, are you my friend because you like who I am? Like, like are we getting along? Are you my? I'm friend? gonna win them over too. I'm gonna come and bring them gifts and stuff and butter them <laughs> up. Like I'm gonna love on these guys. I do love them. They're really they seem genuine and down to earth. They seem chill. Yeah. Uh-huh. So we're gonna. I dude. I I'm feeling this. I'm feeling unscripted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big time feeling this. But I think that's pretty much it, right? It seems like it's it. for the most part, unless Olivia. Oh, she's not here. Let, yeah, me, just, let me fast forward to like for just, a second. But I think that that was the main Ethan chunk. Okay, that was fun. You're. You're kind of I just skipped forward to a random spot. I'm just curious what they're talking about. For the weekend, for the couple weekends, dictates every other part of the window. Oh, actually, she time stamped it. Let me look at those. So we've got um, Ryan says he has no clue, blah, blah, blah. We saw this. Uh, Ryan says he hasn't been involved in a movie where there hasn't been a lawsuit. That sounds good. <laughs> um, here, he's discuss- He's a. Uh, uh, Describing his new movie studio. That's actually so. That's kind of my new film model. <laughs> I went back into film. Like I, I literally was like burnt out. I was like, I gotta leave the industry for a bit, and yeah. I did. That's why. Oh, um, why'd you leave? No, 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 no. Back it up, Ryan. What <laughs> happened to Relativity <laughs> Media? Burnt out. Burnt out. More like bankrupt. Yeah, I mean, burnt out. <laughs> Burned all the money. I mean, that's what you mean. Burnt out. And then kind of as I, you know, got into the influencer world, I saw this opportunity. Does anyone want this? I'm not even going to touch it. Mm-hmm. I'll have it. It's got sugar. Or, I mean, you guys could share it. There's so much. Yeah. Here. We split it. Let's split the burden. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy. Share the load. Share yeah, the load. Yeah, I'll hit that too. Fuck it. Where I th- it really was a, both a business and a creative change. It was, okay, I'm going to make movies that appeal <laughs> to, I'll call it top 10 influencers, audiences, which is a middle, young, middle 20 and, and teen audience, which is horror, American love stories, and American comedies. And I'm going to cast one top 10 influencer and then everybody else actors, right? And so the first one was actually an idea I came up with, which because we, we created or we had 
say created, they did, but um, <laughs> Hype House and Sway. That what was, are you talking about, bro? I can't even follow. Ryan says he hasn't been involved. Go ahead. He says he hasn't been involved in a movie where there wasn't a lawsuit. Of he that. says they happen on in a movie all that there of wasn't them. a lawsuit of some sort. So no, I don't think it. <laughs> he was talking about that movie with our with our boy right. um, Bryce, yeah, which is still not out. <laughs> Perfection. What was it called again? Skill House, I think. Skill House. Release date. Bro, seriously. This was originally supposed to come out like two or three years ago. Hold on. Skill Rush ha- Perfection. February 2024. Oh my God. We might actually get it next month. <gasps> it was filmed in the Sway House. That's so sick. Let's fucking go. <laughs> they have a Twitter account, Skill House Movie. How far would you go for clout? <laughs> and look. Wait, why is he retweeting <laughs> fucking political <laughs> bullshit? Wait, what is happening? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's he's been doing some weird it's shit. Still there. <laughs> now I don't know if this is Ryan, but <laughs> I'll say this: I know Ryan is a conservative politically, and it seems to be that they're supportive of conservative politics. So Skill House has said this last <laughs> retweeted this uh, from December of of 2023. Rut Row, reading between the lines of this letter, it sure looks like a bunch of signatories on the bogus Hunter laptop letter. We're getting paid by the CIA at the time. Recall that the bogus letter was used as a pretext for banning the New York Post. Jordan, on, what's man. his full name? Uh, Jordan, uh, oh God, why am I He sucks. His name? He's like at the worst. He's one of the really- He's the Ohio worst. guy uh, who so, covered up the, um, the wrestling sexual abuse scandal. Uh, Jordan, why am I blanking on his name? Yeah, I don't know either. Jordan. Anyway, he's the image. Jim, oh, that's his Jim last Jordan. name. That's why it's thrown. Jim in. Jordan. Jim Jordan. Yeah, Jim Jordan. Uh, Jordan to CIA. How many Hunter Biden laptop letter signers were on your payroll? So he's he's supporting this conspiracy theory. Also, Who, he this. being, I don't know if this is Ryan Kavanaugh, by the way, but Skillhouse the movie <laughs> is is spoilers. retweeting. It's spoilers. <laughs> Um, this is a total aside. To Here's another mind. one. Hold on. This is crazy. The day before, retweeted Will Scharf. I reviewed the new Hunter Biden indictment as a former federal prosecutor and someone who has followed the Hunter saga quite closely for years. Here's my initial reaction. Hunter is in a lot of trouble. Yada, yada, yada. <laughs> he retweeted this. Or, I mean, not him. Again, sorry. I don't know. The Skill House, the movie, retweeted this. <laughs> How far would you go for clout? I've never seen a a movie social media, you know, get involved in politics like this. It's interesting. <laughs> I hope uh, Hunter Biden's cock makes a cameo in Skill House. <laughs> he would be so good in that movie. His cock? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah. Anybody has? Is there a lot of losses in these movies? Always. So what? For what? Um, <laughs> it's everything from someone like. <laughs> Oh, I once Both met Ryan that guy and, and host, pitched I that idea. Say, a little mush mouth. Okay, hold on. This isn't. Ryan says people who are doing lawsuits are usually sleazy. Mm-hmm. This <laughs> very... Go yeah. on. <laughs> people who. A lot of people sue when they lose money in deals. This is a movie or deals. Or, it's like, okay, I'm worth $500 million. I'm going to invest a million dollars in something. And then when I, if I lose it, and it's known to be the riskiest thing in the world. I'm going to sue and say, I thought it was like going to make me five times my money no matter what. And you're like, dude. This man is describing, I know, he's describing people who probably, again, this is just guesswork, who were accusing him of misrepresenting either his financial uh, conditions at the studio or, or fabric or, or, or over exaggerating some kind of aspect of his camp company that led them to believe, draw a conclusion that it was more likely to succeed than it actually was. That is what I'm assuming. That I think is what the Ponzi scheme accusation was about, which was retracted. Right. It was something similar to that, that he was misrepresented uh, the status of the company or something. Million dollars in something. And then when I, if I lose it, and it's known to be the riskiest thing in the world, <laughs> Giving money to Ryan Kavanaugh? Yeah, that's got to be one of the things <laughs> in the world. Yeah. I'm going to sue and say, Actually, I that's not was... risky at all. That's a sure bet. Um, <laughs> yes, just to add You're on You're definitely to that. losing your money. <laughs> Variety, the quote said, uh, it had virtually no capital. The suit alleges that it had no viable financial commitment, certainly nothing approaching the magnitude of what was represented. So they said they didn't have debt, but they had a ton of debt. Yeah. So that's, yeah, I mean, that's fraud. If that's what they did, which I don't know. Right. Mm-hmm. 
I don't know what they did. That's just based on what you read, AB. What'd you read? Uh, it was an article from Variety. From Variety. Is there any updates on the bottom of the? <laughs> it's written in small words Always. at the bottom about a correction. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's an update. Oh, go ahead, please. Um, Kavanaugh and Spar appeared to have mended fences. Kavanaugh's reps sent a statement Friday afternoon saying they have uh, satisfactory. They resolved all their issues, basically. Wait, is that the article? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Got. Oh, okay. That's the article. That's the one. Got it. It was Iconic. like going to make me five times my money no matter what. And you're like, dude, you can't. Government T bills at the time or whatever are paying you 8%. And those are like close to guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me as a super. Close to guaranteed. Those would better be guaranteed or we're in big trouble. For sophisticated investor, you think that 500 times is guaranteed and you're suing for that. 300 times. You just said five times. It's just numbers aren't really important. 300 times guarantee. All right. I mean, he so also said that you made $10 million. Off tens of, of millions. Tens of millions of dollars. Multiple so. 10 millions. Yeah, so. Who sue He's not a numbers guy. <laughs> Clearly. Generally, in that mind, they're just like, I just want to, they're sleazy. The, the brands, it's, it's, it's value. So like. You can't actually have said that. <laughs> they're sleazy. Generally, in that mind, they're just like, I just want to, they're sleazy. The, the brand. Okay, is, there, is there a clean soundbite in here? Guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And you're telling me as a super sophisticated investor, you think that 500 times is guaranteed and you're suing for that, right? So people who sue are generally in that mind. They're just like, I just want to, they're sleazy. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good make point. it work. Yeah. Kind of mid, I'll be real. Oh, wow. Mm. Okay. Shut down. I mean, you're the boss. Well, you I, mean, I think it would need, do what you say, it would need cleanup editing to you cut out remove the middle. all of his like, ums and pauses. You cut out the middle so it's clean, and you're, we're not t changing the, the meaning of it at all. We're just cutting out. Right. Stuttering. It's stammering. And yeah. Yeah, it's like when you add an ellipsis in a quote. Mm -hmm. True. True. I'm mm -hmm. just saying there's better. I'm, that's, all I'm, that's all I'm trying to say here. Okay. We'll use those two. Okay. 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 Um... Let's see. Kavanaugh will gladly take the title of CEO of Triller in interviews, but as soon as Ethan's involved, he has no part in Triller. <laughs> of course, it's just one of the numerous ways Ryan Kavanaugh skews the story to portray himself as the good oh, guy. That was what I was pointing out. Yeah. And this is from three hours ago. So, yeah, I, it, I'm so baffled by that, that he just flip-flops constantly his level of involvement. Didn't expect Harvey Weinstein to be on this boring and cringe, to be honest. Well, okay, that I understand that your confusion. This is Ryan Kavanaugh, right. not Harvey Weinstein, for the record. All right. Well, that was fun. I mean, shout out Ryan. Mm -hmm. uh, we love you. Uh, and we're all Ryan. rooting for you. Yeah, we're all, we're all rooting for you. For you. Wait, did, is that on? Is there a recording of that, or was it written? I don't remember. When Joe said we're all rooting for him about Trump. Uh, it was not on tape, I don't think, unfortunately. It was just reported oh, that well, that was his I response. Wish, wish we had that. Yeah, that's a shame. So we have a little bit of time left. We can do the... Uh, the Doolittle stuff, I think, was the next vote. Unfortunately, the Stanley was... Yeah, the Stanley's in last place here. We'll do it on Monday. It's supposed to rain on Monday. Oh, for real? And we oh, have a bunch of equipment shit. that we that's set up. That's a good point. Wait, let me check the it's forecast. Supposed to rain tonight. Oh my goodness, where did where did this rain come from? We got a like storm I blowing in. Yeah. Big storm. Oh shit. Our knees been aching. Okay. Today, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Wow. Pretty heavy rain, it seems. Here I mean, I love the rain. The yeah, rain it's fun. Again. Hmm. When's it going to start raining tonight? Let's see. Precipitation. It's going to start around, I guess, the evening. Guys, my shoulders are cold. Like. <laughs> Get a Jackie. How do you how do y'all do this all the time? I, know. Yeah. <laughs> I cut mine off. My shoulders. Oh, for my, real? My it back pain insane. today is really Hose annoying. Never get cold. That's what they say. I feel like the baby's like did. pushing on a nerve or something. Because I have mm. this like sharp pain in my back. Mm. Ooh. Mm. I don't know how you I wish I could take the baby, man. I wish <laughs> I could. I wish I could carry the load for you. I would do it in a heartbeat. Sometimes he will like push on my bladder and it's like, ah, like, mm. like for a second you feel like you have to pee right now. Hi everyone. I just wanted Whoa, to come that's on. That's crazy. <sighs> All right. Let's do Jake Doolittle and then that this should be a perfect, uh, Jew little. Oh, you got soup? Oh, yay. Oh shit. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> Hold the phone. 
So we did we did we order just this? And a couple of Okay. <laughs> you wanna Jesus share? Christ. That's the only way you get Panera if you order like one item. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this the chicken one that's good? Yeah. Oh, it's so good. I gotta say, I really like this uh, this lemonade. Uh, I don't think Love liked it, but... No. Oh, really? Yeah. You didn't like it? Love, nah, no, no approve. Not sweet, no. You got a... You're <laughs> trolling. No, I'm not. It wasn't that sweet. It's sweet, oh right? Oh, my God, Love. Yeah, it's There's a lot of sugar like I didn't like the eclipsis in there, dude. I whatever yeah me <laughs> the what the eucalyptus the, the, the Whoa, eucalyptus eucalyptus yeah. eucalyptus yeah, the eucalyptus some fucking toothpaste I, in it it. <laughs> I, I don't think kind of taste that I, I gotta pee I'll be right back I don't think there's enough caffeine in it for my liking I want more caffeine the juice ass fucking murderous uh, okay Dan murderous with the guns. lemonade hold on all right all gun right show. Dan hold on we got the gun show going Keep it on Dan the gun show <laughs> what Woo. can you make him bounce like Johnny Bravo hey ha yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, oh, dude, Dan's got. I, I think it's just the uh, the mesh is looking at. No, it. that's all you. No. Nah. no. Okay, fine. The buys and wow. tries. I need a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there was a uh, big fat dono a little bit ago that I one. meant to. Uh, yeah, that's right. Where's my Where's my cord here? My Discord. Here we go. Hundred dollars. What? Talking to tequila. My bestie has lupus and is in kidney failure. Oh, no. Please check out her story. Is on all my platforms. Talking to tequila. Ethan, I'm betting you. I think that was probably begging you. Oh. Well, Ethan's not here. Shout out, though. Oh, man. So I'm sorry. Really sad. That. And there's another one. Jacob. Uh, Jacob. $100. Can I get a big birthday shout out to my good pal Danny Chuck Buns? <laughs> no no <shot>. way. <laughs> Hold on. That was a sick last And my name fellas break. from the Small Pecker Society. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, can I get a big birthday shout out uh, for Danny? Absolutely. Shout out okay. Chuck Buns. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you have a good one. Happy birthday. Happy B day. I am growing up with Mega Man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hmm. um, Haley Davis says, uh, I, th I guess this is a name suggestion for the baby, Ryan Harvey Klein. Stop it. What do you think? <laughs> no? No. Ryan Harvey Klein. Got a good kind of flow to it. No? Howie Klein. <laughs> he was, she's not, she's I not responding. I would consider Howie. I guess she might not like it. I don't know. <laughs> Can't tell. I think she might like it. Uh, Seer donated 10 bucks and said, just wanted to say, it's been good seeing Cam back on screen again. We've missed you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Missed Cam. That's true. We did miss Cam. Missed his vibes in the office. Mm -hmm. I'm back. Cam and Sam are back. Yep. Sam. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Congratulations. <laughs> well, she's in right the building. Now. She's in the building. Right <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, Emily Williams donated 50 bucks with the name suggestion Jade. Jade. Mm. I feel like, to me, it feels like a girl. Yeah. In my head. Mm. Uh, generally, it is a girl's name. Um, it's a little too soft. Yeah. Jade. What do you think like about... Uh, what do you think about the name Byron? Byron? Byron. I've known one Byron in my life, and that was the toughest motherfucker I've ever known. Yeah, I think that's a career. Yeah. I knew a Byron. He was not... Particularly tough, Maybe but he was a good uh, trumpet and player. Barry oh. is the, sh the nickname. Yeah, I was thinking that Byron. It kind of is a B B name that you want to. I'm not really feeling Byron. Byron. All right. Huh? I mean, I appreciate that idea. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, of course Case I Face just donated two Australian dollars and said, "I'm about to go get my IVF uh, IVF transfer. Wish me mm. luck, fam. Good luck." Oh my God. Oh. Good luck. Lots of yeah. luck. Wow. Good vibes no, being sent your way. Moment. And all the shots and all the prep and everything, yeah. you got this, girl. Good luck. Update us. Congratulations. Sophie just donated $5 and said, can I get a 21 birthday shout out, please? No. That's up to Zach. Sophie, you know how I feel about that. <laughs> That's totally up to Zach. <laughs> <laughs> eh, fuck it. 21. <laughs> fuck you. There it is. Zach He's a generous king. Generous today. Zach. He's a generous king. Am I not generous? Yeah. All right. Somebody's Let's suggesting talk. Howie Klein, by the way. Howie Mandel Klein. Howie Mandel Klein. I have a micro dick.
<laughs> oh, this works. Marcus. Marcus. Marcus Brownlee. Marcus Brownlee, Brownlee, yeah. Marcus Aurelius. Do you like those Roman names? Not Roman emperor yet. names. Marcus. Um, that was. Elo always says uh, brags about being part Italian, so it's kind we of had, a Roman connection we had, there. Um, mm. Alfonso. 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 Ooh, that's, fun. <laughs> that's a cool name. Isn't that Al Pacino's real name? A what? I think Al Pacino's real name is Alfonso. Oh. Isn't it? I like Alfonso. Or Alphonse was or another Alphonse one. Or Alphonse or all, uh, Alonso. Alonso. Oh, never mind. Al, Al Pacino's Alfredo. Alfredo. <laughs> yeah. His name's Alfredo. We already have oh. Alfredo. Alfredo. James Pacino. Wait, so he was Fredo all along. There he you was go. Fredo. Oh my it was God. you. It was me. <laughs> it was me, Fredo. <laughs> <laughs> it was me, Fredo. What about Ethan Fredo. Klein the second? <laughs> That's sick. I think that. What about Neo? Question. What about Neo Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> New Ethan. Yeah. I like New Ethan. We and then you could just call him Neo for short. Sick. <laughs> what about Morpheus? Styles? What about what? Morpheus. Morpheus. Morpheus Scotty Klein. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Caligulus. Caligulus. I guess I don't. I don't. Alfonso is good, actually. I like Alfonso. It has Alphonse. potential. Al for short. Alfonso. Al. Alfonso. And then we can go. Alfie. You can be my bodyguard. And I can be your uh, You can call me Al. That's the name of Al. Call me Al. Alfonso. You probably oh, okay. go by Al. Al. Okay, okay. One of my favorite Zappa songs is St. Alfonso's Pancake Breakfast. Yeah. So. Alfonso. Weird. You go like Alphonse or Alfonso? I think I like it with the O. Alfonso. So people are saying Arlo. I like Arlo. Enzo. Enzo. Enzo the baker. Enzo. That, that's a sick name. Whoa. Mateo. Mateo. It's very Italian. I don't think we like that. <laughs> <laughs> there wasn't a lot of. There was a lot of silence. Yeah, uh, Mateo. All right, moving on, moving on. Next one. <laughs> All suggestions are beautiful. Yes. Aww. Keep them coming. All right. Let's watch. So here's Jake Doolittle. He made a video about me accusing me of faking uh, having lupus for don't make money. You make tens of millions of dollars. Yeah. Well, he said I faked it for money and sympathy. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want you to know right People now, Ethan, I have never felt bad for you. I was gonna <laughs> thank you. I was about to say um. People perpetually are feeling bad for me, so I don't need to do anything. Not me. <laughs> not me. There you go, because you're a real one. You see yep. me as a human being and not yeah, a perpetual no. victim. I hope you have lupus. Which I am. I don't actually hope you have lupus. <laughs> Atticus? Like put out I like there. Atticus. It's a cool name. It's cool. I just don't know if I'm vibing. Okay. All right, well, so anyway, he put out a video apologizing, uh, and it uh, here it is. On here and address the most recent video that I oh, made. Oh, there's something I want to say. At the, there was a image of a lawyer letter floating around that said that he had um, threatened somebody with uh, defamation if they didn't remove a video about him. And I want to say for the record for everybody that that letter is fake. Jake oh. did not send that letter, and uh, just just so that we're clearing the air. I don't want any. Uh, false impressions. So it was. It was not a real letter. Jake did not threaten anybody. Well, fuck. it's a fake. That's it. In that video, I spoke about a topic that's extremely sensitive to me, which, to be honest, was my first mistake. I let my emotions dictate my actions, and that led to a tone that was confrontational and aggressive. My intention was to stand up for a specific group of people, but instead, I came across as an asshole. I didn't consider how my words would affect others, and for that, I'm very sorry. I've also come to realize that no amount of explanation can undo the impact of that video.
And so for the discomfort or hurt that it caused, I also apologize. I recognize that my reaction was partly fueled by my own experiences. With my nonprofit, I frequently read applications of people who are in the most terrible situations possible. And hearing someone talk about health in that way really bothered me. But that didn't mean that I needed to post a dedicated video that just turned out to be me ranting about my own frustrations. I all right. But the thing that I think is missing, it wasn't just mean, it was wrong. Mm -hmm. You were wrong. Uh, the stuff you were saying was wrong. It was not true. Well, we're not, we're, we got well, half I've, an apology I've left. Let's, I've, let's see. Maybe he gets to it. Yeah. Okay. Also realized that I shouldn't have posted the video if I can't handle people looking into my health history True. and claiming that chronic Lyme doesn't exist. I also sincerely want to apologize to Ethan mm. for not considering his health anxiety. Okay. I well, took it as a- This is kind of like a backhanded, because it's like, they go, oh, he has health anxiety. It was like, no, I had fucking legitimate, I feel like I have legitimate health concerns. Why, it, 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 like, you know, it's not like, this is good, the acknowledgement of like, I didn't consider that you have, mm -hmm. you might be, that's a nice way of saying like, uh, what's the word? Hypochondriac, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. right? Not necessarily, I mean, anxiety could be from like, well, it's, thinking. Yeah, hypochondriac, I think, implies something different than yeah. health anxiety. Okay, okay, well, regardless, I just feel like, I feel like my concerns are real and were real and, I'm about to go shit in a box soon, and I'll send you pictures, buddy. <laughs> I don't, don't. I think the anxiety is like hand in hand with your concerns. Like I don't. I think it's kind of like the same thing. It you is. Think so yeah. yeah. It's it's literally in the definition. It says a person who is abnormally anxious about their health. Wait, hold on. That's hypochondriac. You guys are not saying the same oh. thing. No. no. Oh, gotcha. That's what no, a hypochondriac. I'm, I'm is. talking about. I think what he said is okay because. You had your concerns when you first got the the results, and with that came anxiety. And I think so. I think like it was like the same thing. I don't think necessarily he's saying you're a hypochondriac. Completely. No, he is saying I'm a hypochondriac. But what he's not saying is that what he said was wrong. He mm -hmm. was analyzing my stat, my stats, drawing wrong conclusions, yeah. sending it to that doctors to diagnose it. Like I mean. It was a lot. There's a lot of, you know. Lee Diff for not considering his But I appreciate the apology, the direct apology. Health anxiety, I took it as a Must completely nice. different thing and that only fueled my anger in the process. I understand that looking at an irregular blood test is extremely concerning and I shouldn't have commented on that. Having been- Okay, well that was the whole video, but. Okay. Born into health issues, I was numb to how startling it can be to be an adult and look at a blood test that doesn't seem right. Also, as a viewer, I can absolutely acknowledge that I reached out to them to try to work for them or ask for collaborations with crew members. But in no way did them not hiring me fuel this video. I've been trying to work for them through like a job or internship since I was 16 years old. I did not make a video six years later as a way to get back at them. My about six months. I wish, I mean, listen. About six weeks. Only you know the answer to that. Yeah. I don't really care either way. Yeah, I don't really care either way. Yeah. I don't think that was. I appreciate you're a fan. I love all my fans. Some more than others. You would be one of the ones I like less. I've fallen. My girlfriend and I are very, very grateful for the opportunity that I was given to be a full-time content creator. Lastly, there's a lot of speculation about my nonprofit Never Stop, so I thought that I would just address those as well. The clothing brand started in 2017, like selling things to family and friends. And then in 2022, when I got a platform, I decided to give 10% of all profits to people in need. And then there was such an overwhelming amount of need for donations that I decided in 2023 to turn it into an official nonprofit so that that people's donations would be tax deductible. Since Never Stop is a new and small organization, I pay all the startup fees so that the donations can go to people who need them. 
And I do hope that someday Never Stop can sustain itself, but it's just not there yet. To be totally honest, picking one person a month to give a few hundred dollars to is sometimes awful. I want to be able to do more, and right now I can't. In closing, I want to reiterate my apology to everyone affected by this video. The tone was inappropriate and scummy, and that does not reflect the values that I wish to embody as a content creator. I've taken this as a learning experience, and I will commit to never repeating this mistake. From now on, I'm going to refocus my efforts on the content that brought you to my channel in the first place. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate every single one of you, and I thank you for your understanding during this time where I try to learn and grow from this experience. What do you think about right. Enzo? I kind of like Enzo. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Um, so here's the thing, like, <clears throat> overall, uh, it's fine. Not bad. It's fine. Bad. I like it. Like, I, I'm fine. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. Go, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, just, I'm fine, just <laughs> let's all move on. It's, you know what I mean? The one thing, though, is like, <clears throat> he made the mistake, which he, he acknowledges. But, like, the details is really hard to get over. Like, he, he had so many opportunities to get off the ramp. Mm. AB warned him, specifically reached out to him. Mm. All the comments, everybody, and then it, now that it's backfired, and then he kept it up for three weeks. Mm -hmm. Also, like, I wish he gave me more, spe said more specific apologies. This is like, I'm just saying this as an A plus recipient right. of things that he could have done to improve mm -hmm. his score. <laughs> um, <clears throat> being specific, like, accusing me of lying about my health to make money. This was not something that was ever addressed. I did not, or I was never lying, and I never did anything to make money. And like, uh, you know, bringing out the Excel sheet and all that stuff yeah. was pretty dirty. Yeah. Sending my my blood work to a doctor to diagnose me is, is utterly insane. insane. He did mention that one, though. He didn't, he didn't mention you know? that. I don't think so. Oh, maybe he's misremembering? He did not mention that. He said okay. something about blood work. Uh, I don't know what it. Yeah, maybe I misunderstood what he, he was just said. Saying seeing that. it is concerning. Yeah. Seeing uh, abnormal blood work is concerning. Okay. And, and he shouldn't have said anything about it. Yeah. I think. I agree. That's a good point because those are those were such heavy accusations. Yes, dude. Like insane. That's that what pissed me off. He is like, dude, said what? I was wrong about this and this and this mm -hmm. more specifically. And then also his, like, the, the way he sat there and pretended to be a fucking doctor and was like, oh, yeah. well, he has a positive ANA. Well, according to what I Googled, he's, a, this is actually, doesn't mean anything. And it's like, no, you're wrong. Right. Like, yeah. you're, you're actually just giving medical misinformation. You're wrong. Maliciously. However, with all that being said, you know, I think it's fine. I think, I think, it's he, fine. I think, I think he's sorry. I think it's better than nothing. Yeah. It's better than nothing. Yeah. Which you is good. Wrong. Which is saying a lot for most apologies. Most apologies on YouTube are not better than nothing. <laughs> right. I, I would have appreciated a little, just a, just a, a tiny little footnote. Uh, also, AB, sorry for putting you in an awkward situation. He absolutely <laughs> owes you an apology. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. You know, you try to fucking warn him and then he used yeah. it against us, you, yeah. the fact that he to weaponize it. That's a said that worthy. in his video, and people obviously figured out that it was you. Mm -hmm. um, Crystal says hi. I hope everyone's having a great day. Thank you, Crystal. I hope the same for you. Fifty bucks along with it. Thank you, Queen. People really like Enzo, by the way. Enzo. Enzo. Oh, Enzo. 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 But everyone's gonna be like, "Are you like Italian?" The kid from Every reboot. person he meets in his life will ask him if he's Italian. <sighs> and he will no. be forced to say, be like, no. are you named after the kid from Reboot, Enzo Matrix? <laughs> <laughs> right, or that. Enzo Ferrari? Enzo the Baker? Oh, you're Italian. No. <laughs> no. You don't remember this show? The, Am I the only one? No, of like, course. Then. Anybody else? Reboot? I didn't Thank watch you, that. That's a deep cut, though. Yeah, I remember Thank that. you, Cam. How about Mario? That's right. the only Enzo that I know. Look, and he grows up to be a Chad. Yeah. Uh, Everybody that keeps... Man. He, goes, he starts as this fucking dork, and then... What the hell? He turns into guts. Man, that's so <laughs> A lot of people keep saying Calvin Klein. It's not it's funny. Not We've heard the joke, you guys. <laughs> Bo. Not Michael. My friend, Klein my either. helper, my best friend, Bo. Not Bo because <laughs> because of Bo. 
Um, so yeah, you know what? I forgive you. I'm not gonna hold a grudge. I'll be honest, I'm probably never gonna like oh, you as a person, but that's like, like on a personal level, you know, like I'm just gonna be like, eh, it was shitty what he did. But mm. I encourage everybody to, um, oops, <laughs> to Wait. move on Enzo is and let's saturated? just keep, let's keep mm -hmm. it going. Enzo's saturated? There's a lot of Enzos? What? What? Enzos? I never met an Enzo. I literally I only know the one from the cartoon. <laughs> is that the, um, is it, well, we can check the baby list name and see if it's on their top baby names. Let's see. But yeah. Enzo name popularity. Jake, go with God. Good boy. Be at peace. So it is on an upswing, I see. Oh, yeah. it's gotten significantly more popular in the last few years. See, we'll never find a name. Oh, we're on like a, we're No, I like Enzo Alfonso better right than now. Enzo, frankly. Was there like a famous Enzo is that, that I'm forgetting? Is that going to be the same issue I'm where looking. people are like, Enzo oh, Well, no, because he can go by Al, he can go by, there's other... Okay. Al is not that good though, is it? Because that's probably what it'll go by. Look at the exponential uh, Enzo growth here. I think it's too Italian, wow. it's just weird. It was the number one name in Italy in 2011. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to be like, too much like... <laughs> too Italian? Too Italian, like... Yeah, you don't like, want to go too Italian. Fashion. What about like yeah. Mario? Afraid of. Those Mario? I love yeah, that's Italians. like not that bad, right? No. No. I know a lot of Marios actually. Yeah, and there's no uh, cartoon uh, characters. Make his middle know. name Luigi. Mario Luigi Klein. Mohammed? That's <laughs> Mohammed. Nice. How about Jesus? 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 <laughs> Jesus Lucifer. Oh, you guys Jesus are gonna love Lucifer this one. Klein. Uh, Theodore loves the name Israel. <laughs> I've known a lot, I've known quite a few people named Israel though. But I was like, now is not the time. Yeah, now's not the time, now Theodore. Not the time. <laughs> Maybe a few years before. But I've known several Hispanic uh, Israels. He's born. Yeah, he's canceled. Uh, popular uh, Hispanic name. Baby, do you denounce the IDF? You're born. First question. <laughs> Your comments on the IDF and Benjamin Netanyahu child. He's crying. Oh, you want to be the victim all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. somebody. Hmm. Wait, it's the same message as before. Well, she sent it because Ethan's here now. Oh, I guess. <laughs> but you did that. You sent a whole another fifty dollars. You don't have to do that. <laughs> Talking, Talking to, to tequila. My bestie has lupus and is in kidney failure. Please watch her story on it's on all platforms. Talking to tequila, Ethan. I'm begging you. Oh, they fixed the typo the yeah. first time they were they were betting. Kidney you. failure. If it's anything like what Shredder went through, that's just yeah. really horrible. The good news, I guess, is that humans can do. Uh, Read it. What's it called when they clean your blood? Dialysis. They can do the dialysis doesn't really work on dogs for some reason. Mm. Hmm. It's not an effective treatment. So I hope that you guys are able to to treat it or God even get a, a get even get a kidney uh, transplant. Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll check it out. Uh, talking to tequila, they're begging me. Kanye what Ryan Kanye. Kavanaugh's been doing. <laughs> Begging me? Talking to tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Eat tomorrow. God, so good. <laughs> Fucking got him. Oh, you link me? Good. These balls. These balls. Chloe Brianna. Somebody said Benjamin Klein. I Wait, so Benjamin. oh, this is the girl. Oh, I I recognize her. Wait, this is her? She has a TikTok account that she's like, she's a a fan. Mm. Oh yeah? And she makes she makes silly, funny videos about the show a lot. Right, I've seen her on TikTok. Talking so to her Tequila, friend. her friend. Check the story. Jordan's. Here, well, here's a pic. Jordan's journey to a kidney transplant. Mm. And then, would you? I'm spreading the word. My best friend Jordan Garrick is in need of a kidney donation. She needs a donor with O. Isn't O the rare one? Um, I always get confused by that. I think O's the one. That no, but they they need an O. A B negative is the yeah, rare. Yeah, I may be negative. What's is O rare? I thought O was rare. I feel like that's universal. Because if you're O, you can receive everyone's blood. Uh, o positive is actually the most common, yeah. uh, with thirty five percent. Oh well, then that's good. She needs a donor with uh, O. But there's also O negative, which is still relatively high at 13%. So, okay. I mean, that, that sounds like it's probably a good thing that, yeah, that they need that... O. Um, if you or someone you know wants to see if they match, please go to Living Donor 
reg.upmc.com. It re you know, we did that one campaign with those those kids, you remember? And a tons of people signed up for the oak the to see if they're matches for like Oh that. yeah. It was for like bone uh Yeah, yeah it was a bone, bone marrow, marrow transplant. transplant. Yeah. Right. So, I think so uh, yeah, I guess I mean, shit, you don't need two kidneys, so let's get out there, people. Let's give those kidneys up. Give them up. When those kids came, uh, I think that was the last time we saw Philly D in person. Oh, yeah, he said oh, that yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Studio. yeah. Right. Angel. Oh, my God, that feels like a lifetime. You should go hiking Angel. with him sometime. Angel. And that's super rude, A.B. He's still alive. He's an angel on Earth. <laughs> I think he's still alive. I'm pretty sure. I'm talking about Philly D's the angel. Yeah, well, I was making a joke. <laughs> okay. It's horrible, though. Shame on you. Yeah. You're three for four today. That one didn't hit? <laughs> nah, I'm sorry. Can you see, make sure he's alive so I don't look like a giant? Because if he's alive and healthy, then we love it. Then F I'm okay. I don't know who we're talking I'm talking about Philip DeFranco. Philip DeFranco? The kid, no, the kids that came on the show. His best friend needed a bone oh. marrow transplant. Yeah. Oh. On, our, on this show? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah this is something that happened like five years ago. This was early, early days. In our old podcast. studio. Yeah. yeah, at the old studio. Well, no, just Google his name, though. What's his name? I know, I'll have to find his name. Oh, shit. I mean... Very good. We love Jake Doolittle. We love him. Well, fuck. We forgive him and we love him. Archie? You like Archie? Mm. Zuko? Yes, what's the Japanese name that's in anime all the time? Oh, it's Miyazaki. Sasuke. Sasuke? Oh, Sasuke. Yeah. Sasuke. What's the most common Japanese name? Excuse me, man. Number one is Imari. I've never even heard that. Haruki. They're all H's. Himari, Haruki, Hinata, Hina, or Hiyori. Interesting. What do y'all think about that? Seems. Let's go to Japan to find out. Takashi, Akira, the... Akira Klein. But that will throw people off so hard. They're <laughs> like, what? Are you Japanese? No. That's why he needs to be Buster. Nobody's going to ask any questions. Nobody's going to be like, oh, where's that from? Are you this? No, I'm Buster, bro. Nobody's got any fucking questions. Buster's starting to grow on me. I can't lie. Dude, it's such a I, dope. I was anti-Buster at first. But I'm pro-Buster. Dude, it's I've been yeah. pro-Buster cool from day one. You feel a Buster Buster. It's got so much personality, I feel like. It's day one. Buster. I'm with you. Thanks. It's fun. It's fun to say. It's relatively uncommon. But, but, but I'll say, I'll say, you're busted, Buster. You're busted, Buster. Sick. I'm into it. I'm into it. Okay, well, let's tell Eva because y'all just gave she her really, the really the wrong impression. <laughs> it's not happening. Because Teddy liked, he likes Buster too. Teddy's into it. Yeah, he loves it. Good taste. He loves Buster. Good taste. Eva, are you there? I think she might be in the bathroom. Well, we can wrap it up. Let me say Ulfric Stormcloak Klein. <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, Cobra Klein. Cobra Klein! Oh, sick. that is fucking Yo, sick. Fuck Buster is Cobra. No now. mercy, baby. Fuck! Eli, everybody's saying they like Buster now. No, I like Cobra. Cobra now. No, we like Cobra Klein. Do you like Buster, Sam? Yeah, I was Buster's number one advocate, but I'm, Cam, switching, do you like I'm Buster? switching my vote to Cobra. I'm Cobra Man. I'm, I'm Team Cobra. Oh, shit. What about Garish? Why are you guys scream? doing you this? Guys think this is a joke. Scream, yeah. What about <laughs> Sylvanas Windrider? Why do you guys Klein? change your t your Gar tune when Ela walks in? I mean, Cobra is... came up. Okay, what about well, Illidan's Storm Rage Klein? Yeah, that's be rolls off cool. the tongue. Dan, I don't appreciate this. Ragnaros no. Klein. This is a serious <laughs> Ragnaros <laughs> Klein. <laughs> what about? Um... I see no Buster, no Buster. What about Sargeras? That'd be cool. Sargeras? Yeah. That's sick. We also, we had an idea that I thought was cute. August and Augie. 
Augustus. I love that. Oh, Augustus, That's Augie, so August. That's nice. Yeah. August, Augustus. Aww. Augustus. You like August or Augustus? I like August. 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 Augustus, Augustus, but August for short. August is a good time of the year. Yeah, I like August. Mm-hmm. Also, Roman Emperor. Right, mm-hmm. right, mm-hmm. right, right, mm-hmm. right. Augie. Mm-hmm. Augie's not um, bad. We love Augie. Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> good news. Um. Um, good news. The guy. <laughs> Sorry to all the Ralphs out in the audience. <laughs> Good news, a really good news. This Welcome is the everybody episode to the I'm talking Street about. Podcast Live. It's only an hour. Today well, we are here. Can't, with I can't even imagine doing an hour long show. I feel like office. I sit here and I look down the clock and it's been an hour. <laughs> That's what we used to do. We did. Yeah, this was a relatively short one because it was just kind of like a, a bonus little thing. But we used to usually just do like a 90 minutes, hour and a half. Right. That's so crazy. No. We were talking to this dude. The perspective of you and know, his not friend, which is him, the one that right? needed and, the bone and just marrow kind of transplant. Letting that happen. Yeah. Um, but also, oh. we've had to buy a pair of bikes. And now we sit here. We're do- watching who would be like, like, they do that. Not about her. And Billy. Oh, Billy was in the studio. Right? Um, <laughs> I love that. I, yeah, I think he's I, I, I forgot, forgot he was in the studio. Major. Yeah. Were you majoring? So this is. God damn it. Yeah, his name's Chris, by the way. Chris. Betancourt, Betancourt, I think is how it's pronounced. Oh, yeah. So he needed a bone marrow transplant, and the good news is that as of twelve twenty-two of this, what, this a few weeks ago. That's a year ago. Oh, like two? That's like two years, two years ago. My, I was okay. hoping, wait, yeah, that was totally wrong. <laughs> so he, oh, he hasn't posted in a year, right? Uh oh. He's posted a year ago that he was doing well. And I believe he did get the transplant he needed. Yeah, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's not definitive. It even says on the uh, mm. on the website that they had set up. Well, that's great. Well, I hope he is okay. Well, that's really good news. This is uh, from 56 Cute weeks. kitty alert. He's got a cat. I mean, yeah, he doesn't need social media if he's got a cute cat. That's true. <laughs> true. Oh, uh, I hope he's okay. <laughs> We love it. We love him. And we love kidneys. And we hate bad kidneys. All right. Bad kidneys are fucking dumb. Fuck them. Mm-hmm. Hate those fucking kidneys. My fourth boy is Aug- Augustine. Wow. All right. Fourth. Thank you, everybody. Aragorn. <laughs> Gandalf. It's fucking sick. Aragorn, Elisar, uh, Dunedain. Wait, I'm fine. Can't wait to see how you name your kids then. <laughs> what about Lionel? What about it? Lionel. Lionel Richie Lionel. Klein. Yeah. What about um Foos. Let's see. What about uh What about Abraham Lincoln Klein? Sick. He was Love a him. great president. Abe was one great of man. Yeah, what favorite. about Captain Price Klein? From Call of Duty. <laughs> From Call of Duty, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What about Soap Klein? Yeah. Makarov Klein. <laughs> Soap's not bad. <laughs> Ghost Klein. Mac and Cheese Klein. Kev Kev what Klein. About... <laughs> oh, never mind. Those initials are. Ryan? What about, what about Tom Cruise Ghost Protocol Klein? Yo. Part what two. What if we named him Ryan? That'd be a mind fuck. <laughs> that is a nope. Special you... Operator Ghost Klein. <laughs> All right, for real though, it's, uh, it's 440. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up. How long we've been going? I mean, it's got to be three. Three thirty-six yeah. and yeah. forty-nine seconds. I have like a. Right I've developed a unbelievable sense of time where I know exactly three hours and thirty minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Boom. Like, You're look fine. back that we've been doing three hours and thirty minutes fairly consistently for a long time. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the number I like. Three thirty. Four is too long. Three is on the short side. This baby's gonna be here before we know it, and we're gonna need a name. Well, somebody That's all I have to say. Columbo Klein. I fucking love Columbo. That's sick. Dude. One more Damien, thing. I hate that name. It's just one <laughs> no more offense. thing. I just knew a dude in Damien in high school that was like a fucking freak. <laughs> it's ruined for you. Yeah. Gotcha. All right. For real though. <laughs> uh, thank you, everybody. Thanks for watching. We had a lot of fun here today, didn't we, we did. folks? We did. Mm-hmm. Um, we will be back on Monday with another great week of shows, including, by the way, the long-awaited Stanley Cup burn test. If it's not raining. If it's not raining. 
Solidius Snake Klein. Uh, yeah. Liquid Snake Klein. <laughs> I love Solid that. Solid Snake Klein. I Big Boss that. Klein. Venom Snake Klein. Big ben? Boss Klein is Big really Klein. speaking yeah, to yeah. me. That's the one. Martin Luther. Big Klein. Martin Psycho Luther. Mantis <laughs> Klein. <laughs> Martin Luther King Jr. Klein. Yeah. <laughs> Kojima Klein. <laughs> Paul Nelson McCartney Mandela Klein. Klein. A David white kid Gerardo. named Martin Luther Ringo? King Jr. Paul McCartney Klein. Ringo. <laughs> George <laughs> George Harrison Ringo Klein. Mohandas Karamchad Gandhi Klein. <laughs> Beatles. <laughs> this, oh, Moha, oh, there's this guy who was the head of the um, UN. His name was Boutros 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 Gali. You know that guy? <laughs> oh, yeah. Where yeah, to God, yeah. his name was Boutros 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 Gali. <laughs> right. Let and me look that up. Harrison is kind of cute. Let me find that. Harris? Yeah. Oh. Harrison? You got the music playing this time. <laughs> <laughs> we got Bonnie. the music playing this time. <laughs> it goes numb and my heart breaks out when it feels like that. Panic attack. See y'all. Bye, everybody. See you on Monday. Bye. Have a good weekend.